Good job, trolls. You got me. I don't care anymore, to be honest with you. I'm tired of listening to them. That's funny. You all got me good, man. I ain't even changing any more anything anymore. Once the stream's on, that's it. <laughs> I don't have another stream, so I hope people come on. Jersey, I ain't changing anything anymore. I knew that was gonna happen. Not your fault, but I pinned it, but now we had to restream everything, so it didn't matter. <laughs> oh well. We tried, we live and learn. We live and learn. I can't pin it from here, so I'm sorry. I wish, I don't know why they say this is all, co you know, like, intermingled and it's not. You know what I mean? I know, no, it's okay. I'm not mad. I just, it just makes me mad that, you know, they say it's like intertwined and it's not, you know? You set a stream up here, you cannot touch it anymore. Um... I, I don't, I think they just lie, you know, but yeah, YouTube and Prism and all of them are not connected together. Not at all. Mm -hmm. I like hanging out with my homies, so. I'm not worrying about them. Actually gives me some time to, to eat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to eat from people. Do I really? Is it the mustache? Is that what gave it away? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Finally, huh? Some good music in background. None of that. Oh man, am I gonna get oh I hope I don't get him. What's up, Jazz Cat? Welcome to the stream. I haven't seen you before. Thank you for joining. Mm -hmm. Don't let Ram Dog screw his time is coming. Oh, dude. I'm not at all, man. That, that was actually... You know what really happened to him tonight, and he's realizing it. And it's actually really cool to see it with all the love you guys gave, man. Straight up, that dude literally shut. So he tried to dox me. He ran out of content. Remember, we called this out while we were going through the through the zoo. I called this all out, dude. I'm not even a fortune teller. I controller was on here before. Controller, can you read me my fortune? And if so, I mean, I don't. Am I doing okay? Because, uh, so far everything I called out has been right on. Remember? See, is it true you were a ravage? No, absolutely not. I don't even know who that is, to be honest with you. Just like I'm, uh, what, what is Ski got me on now? What am I, uh, uh, DUI fell in. I got a uh, wife now. I have kids. <laughs> Dude, that dude is funny. And you know what? Landon said he was going to do that. I was like, he's not going to make, he's not going to say I have kids. I mean, who would believe that? You know, I just, the way I am, the way I act, the way I can just leave and, you know, be at places. But yeah, that was crazy. He called him out good. He, Landon knows him really good. That's hilarious. Yeah. And if y'all notice, Randy, once he got done trying to like dox me, none of his viewers cared except like, you know, he had his three little friends that were like, yeah, we got him. We got him, Ski. He quit. He went off on Michelle because nobody was supporting anymore. One, he lost a lot of viewers because of it because it's probably disgusting. Probably pissed off a lot of people. Especially a lot. I noticed a lot that there was a lot of vets and people had family that were vets. So um, I appreciate your guys' service. And um, I thank you guys for doing the right thing and just leaving that disgusting piece of shit. Then did you guys see his apology? He goes on there. No disrespect to guys that are in the vets or this and that. And then he keeps going. Yeah, fuck, dude. You're... you're I don't know if you're like just dumb, stupid, uh, delusional, bipolar, 
Or honestly, I really think you just do this on purpose. I haven't figured out yet. You got me there good, dude. You really did, but that was hilarious, man. And then you know what was even funny is Ski Mask, every time he does some stunt like this, more stuff gets exposed. So if you guys actually paid attention to Landon, and we're gonna expose him tonight too. Um, we had a, and I'm not gonna name her even though the information already came out, but out of respect, there was a, uh, let's just say a female that Ski Mask was, I don't know, chatting with. And uh, he's pretty much declared that he's a, and nothing wrong with it, he prefers the men, you know, and it makes sense now. And I mean, it's been a rumor for a while and we've all kind of known it, but now it's verified. And I think that's where all that anger's coming from, man. You know, um, he's used to ladies coming on him, conning on him, and there's no men. And I think he's upset that his viewership is just all women when he prefers, in reality, men. So I get it, Randy. I get you came on here. You tried to dox me and my family. You should just came after me. I mean, you're lucky that you didn't. Oh, I'm just not going to say anything after that. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And I hope that he embellishes this. I hope he just goes his way. I think he's been holding this anger because he's been wanting to come out for this long. And now that it's finally out, I hope it's just like a balloon. You know, you just pop it. Psh, all that pressure comes out. So maybe that was it. Maybe this was just kind of karma. You know, maybe this is just leading to us finally proving that he is gay. And there's nothing wrong with that, like you said. But what's wrong is when he goes after those people, he says a lot of bad things about that genre, says a lot of bad things today about women. You ever notice where he goes, B word, N word, oh, sorry, sorry, ladies, sorry, got, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Your 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 personality came out today, and you you showed it. And uh, when you thought you were gonna really f with me or hurt me or do something bad, it actually made you look like worse, dude. Not only have you already been checked and look like a pussy, we verified today that you're a doxer. Um, you're gonna be getting in a lot of trouble here, probably within the next day or two. You're gonna hear that. And of course, you're gonna run. You're gonna hide in the bathroom. You're gonna tell your mom to answer the door like you're used to. But see, there's a difference though. A subpoena is court ordered. So you can hide, you can run, but as long as it's stuck on your little door there, or your mom answers it, that means it was received. So look forward for that, buddy. And it's not even coming for me. So <laughs> I'm not, I don't have to do anything. I'm just here to watch the show. You're the one setting the narrative, my friend. And tonight was hilarious. Thank you. And you know what I thought was funny is, Ski, you make fun of me because I'm overweight. But you didn't post my good pictures, man. You said you doxed me. Come on, bud. Show my pictures with me with my muscles. Show my pictures with all my different girls, my girlfriends that I had. And I'm not a slut. I just, you know, I was young. I'm not going to lie. And I'm good with the words. I'm short, but, you know, I, I, girls like me, man. I'm not going to lie. I'm not trying to sound cocky, but he does, you know, all, look at the picture he showed. He shows me after a marathon. So that means I ran 26.2 miles, right? So you're trying to make fun of me by showing off a picture of me posting right after a three, what, I think I timed at 3.50. Not fast, not slow, but three hours, 50 minutes, 26.2 miles, that's not bad. I don't think Ski could even do probably a mile in 20, in probably three hours, so. But hey, thank you, Ski, you know what? Because I look sexy in that picture, a lot better than this ugly mug. And you know what? That's gonna bring all the ladies over to me, so ladies, you know, like I said, let me just work on this a bit, but those pictures Ski showed you that from me eight years ago, I can get down to that in about three months, okay? So I'll work on it. Oh, I have some food in me. Yeah, you almost got me smile. I, oh, hey Reese, I talked to you earlier. I guess he must put my sweet as one because he has to test her. Yep, that's it, exactly. He's gonna get a lot, so I, I kind of see where you're coming from. Um, if, wait, if he takes a plea, I don't think... Oh, no, he's going to jail. That's, that is what the plea is. They're giving him three months jail time versus what he can get with a jury. And that's because of his record. And yeah, he should take it. Thank you. Hey, hey. <laughs> I love all the new names you guys have on there. Here's a... But see, I'm not a slut, so it's going to cost a little bit more than a dollar. Um, air hugs are tonight going to be $10. $10 gets you an air hug. Uh, $20 gets you a... Okay, ladies, sorry, I told you. I had to whore myself out tonight. Tonight is fundraiser night, so... Uh, after tonight, you'll not see me like this, okay? Uh, he's not going to turn himself in. Are you crazy, Cesar? 
Five foot. Ooh, Tracy, what's up? Well, that's the funny thing is, is um, I'm five foot four. Oh, thank you guys. Uh, hold on, sorry. Let me just make sure I got the speaker on. That's my fault. See, I don't come on here to like e-bake. See, that's why I'm never prepared. But I appreciate it. Yeah, I was off. I apologize. Okay, so speaker's on. And that was... Yeah. Okay, thank you for that. And if you want me to do something, I will do it. Um, donation link should be... Donation alert should be in the um, description, I think. I had to restart everything, so... Okay, I know what happened. Hold on. God, Emilio, I'm learning. I didn't put... So whenever I restart... Emilio... Oh, man. Emilio, Emilio, Emilio. You got me, Ski. Emilio, Emilio, Emilio. That's me. Oh, did I just... Did I just say that? Oh, no. Okay, now it'll work. You know what happened is I restart my stream, and I always get it prepped. But every time we got to restart it, it... It resets it so we're not doing this little YouTube broadcast stuff I'm just gonna figure out another way to put my alerts on but yeah that that shit's not working let's see add like 715 fees and add the cost of <laughs> well here's the thing you know if we take schema I mean honestly I'll, I'll tell you guys something you want to learn a little lot today so what Ski Mask did, which was recorded by tons of channels, shout out to you guys, all the clippers, everybody looking out for me. So pretty much what Ski did today was, ooh, bad. Um, not only did he just, you know, dox, he, I mean, he broke every term of TOS you can imagine, so he shouldn't even be streaming right now. But in addition to that, um, he made some pretty slanderous threats. So at this point, um, because this is not statewide, I'm not, you know, I live in the city as, I have to go through the feds. Um, so now, any type of information taken is going to be through the FBI. They're the ones that handle state-to-state -state cases, things like that. So, and there's already a case that's already not been indicted yet, but that's started. So, I mean, he, he just, like the, the saying goes, he just put another nail in the coffin tonight. I don't even have to do anything, and I'm not. Because like he says, I'm not a snitch. I got so many other things to worry about. I mean, I'm trying to help, like... I, like I said, um, the plate is full for New Jersey courts, and I'm going to take care of everybody, okay? I got people now that I've came on that are asking me for help for other things. I have people that are, you know, it, there, there's a lot of stuff that's came out, and, it, and it's sad. I'll just tell you that. It, it's sad that people have been bullied on these tubes for very long, and uh, because I don't care, because I don't have nothing to hide, I'm going to be the advocate for those people, Ski, and everybody else watching, okay? You want to bully people? You want to be 65 and have a channel and all you do is bully people? We're going to get you too, okay? As long as you break the law. Like I said, I don't pick on people, but if you break the law, I will get you. But yeah, Ski's fucked, dude, and he knows it. He, have you guys ever noticed before he's about shit's going to happen, he likes to go out in a fury of flames, so that's what he did tonight. Not only did his viewers not care about the doxing, I think he lost a lot quite a bit because I don't know if you, I watched, I, I, I heard him, you know, I didn't even listen to him when it started. I just got home. My friend was there. I said, hey, do you mind if I borrow your charger? She wanted to go hang out right away, but I said, I got some business to take care of. So I even feel bad being a bad guest, but you know what? We're okay because I showed her a little bit of your video ski and she said, take care of biz, you're a piece of shit. So anyways, sorry friend, we'll have dinner another time. But I do owe you. I appreciate you picking me up. And I do owe you. But Ski, you didn't ruin my night. You didn't ruin my evening. Like I said, if anything, you just made yourself look even worse, bro. Like, horrible. I mean, dude, damn, man. And what's funny is, he noticed that, okay? Ski's a dipshit. What he does is he likes to put stuff out. And if it doesn't work, he changes it. So if you notice, he jumped from me. Couldn't find a bad picture, okay? I mean, literally, all my... I, I hope he puts all my pictures up because it's going to embarrass the shit out of him. Those pictures, like, what, 10 years ago? I was not overweight. I was very healthy. I ran marathons, which I still do. I had, you know, I was in my 20s, so, you know, I was out and around. Beautiful girls. Um, just post those, Ski. I mean, damn, the, the worst picture you can find is me finishing a 26.2 marathon. Yeah... You, you better talk to Big V or whoever's sending your info because they're not giving you good shit. 
Okay, yeah, I don't know how they work. I, I think that's why um, Landon says that they he uses another system. I'm sorry, WAP. I appreciate that, though. If you want to do, um, excuse me, Cash App, I will um, shout you out and, um, I guess, what do they say, transcribe any message you'd like to you. Hold on. This is in Russian. Hold on, hold on. It was on. They didn't leave a message. Who donated that? If you donated that, it, it was on. You didn't leave a message, though. Oh, yeah. he. Well, he thinks he doxed me, but he didn't dox me, Yoshi. He's always known the first and last name of an Emilio Villani. Remember that? He said that on the show. His first show. And that's when I went on. Remember the picture? Does this look like the picture? No. Same thing, like, he's this poor person he's talking about, he says they have a... A DUI, they have felonies. I mean, the picture's me, but that's not my name. Or is it? Nah, I'm just kidding. It don't matter. I'm just messing with him. Yeah, no. He just he 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 got into my Facebook from eight years ago, and he thinks he's all bad about it. He, he's got my AOL uh, email address, and he wants to know what he can do with it. It was a subscription. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't see it. Thank you. A subscription alert on donor, but it was in... Um, do you know how to read Russian? That's pretty impressive. It says in Russian that guy subscribed. Oh, okay, cool. Well, thank you. Um, I don't know how to talk Russian, so I don't know how to thank him in Russian. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, ah, you should always know, like, thank you in all languages. Ah, hold on. No, I, I don't. I, I would try, but I know it's not going to be it. That's cool. Thank you. I appreciate you translating that. Thank you, Russia. That's awesome. I know you may not be able to hear some of the music on my videos, because I know some of the videos say they don't play the music in Russia. But um, thank you for subscribing. Ah, tu, je parle un petit français. Hablo un poquito español también. Yeah, you know, it's a subscriber. They confirm that. When's his court date? What's the charges? Okay. So he has court this Monday. It's at 9 a.m. again. Oh, this is a repeat of last week. So for all you that aren't aware or just joining in. So, <laughs> Tracy Ed. So if y'all are aware that um, Ski Mask um, allegedly skipped his date. We all know what happened. Um, I'm going to say allegedly just for liability reasons. But uh, pretty much uh, Ski Mask uh, called into his lawyer, said he had COVID. Uh, lawyer's not happy. Judge isn't happy. Um, so he didn't show up. And suppose he didn't show up because of me, which is kind of funny because I was just a member of the audience. I'm just a member of the public. And I mean, even then, this guy's the one going on today talking about how I'm a pussy and this and that. And he's going to beat my butt. And I mean, even before I got to Tulsa, the guy was threatening my life. But Yeah. You know, like I said, I mean, uh, you, you think I'm going to allow somebody to tell me when and where I can take a vacation? I don't think so. But yeah, so his little his little gang today thought they were going to get me by uh, doxing my information. And uh, oh boy, did he learn the hard way. Not only did he not dox my information and get the right information, he got my pictures. I'm not going to admit that, it's me. But we got the good side of me. He knows who I am now. See, that's why he's not going to come on anymore. And he actually changed the subject and shut up. I think somebody actually texted him. I, I mean, the way it sounded was like he was scrolling and he must have saw the right picture and said, Oh. Yeah. What's up, London? Hey, you know, that's your narrative. You can love him. I mean, um, obviously, you probably have a little bit of some mental issues. I'm not a psychiatrist, but... If you want to support a guy that beats his mom, or a ninja kicked his mom, not even beat, and uh, beats women, uh, has six felonies for beating women, is wanted in three states, go ahead. I am not a cop. Dude, you guys know, a cop can't take off the days I do or act like this. A cop would, one, cops would never, I mean, unless you're just crazy, and those, there are some, you know, they get in trouble doing the TikToks and stuff. Cop would never go on public media like this. A real cop? No. Nope. Thank you. I appreciate that. Dude, crazy, huh? 
What's really weird is this wasn't like an original community. These aren't his original followers. They all left them. These are like totally new people, and they all know about him. So um, I don't. It's confusing because I think like probably three quarters of them are just trolls, you know, they're just don't have anything better else to do, so they just figure, hey, everybody doesn't like this guy, so we'll pretend to like him, and you know, they like the little gossip and troll shit, but I mean, I will admit, the guy has probably about five to six solid nutsos on his, on his little, like, cult list, his little, like, what is it called, his lieutenants or whatever, and they're whack, those ladies are, and men, there's some men in there, I know I pick on the ladies, but they they are cuckoo cuckoos. I told you. Uh, one of them is Mitten Mama. She literally got accused of being a pedo. He literally accused her of being a pedophile yesterday for speaking to Michelle's son. She disappears off the chat or the everything for a day. And, I mean, she must have had a come-to-Jesus moment this, this morning when she said, Damn, I don't know anywhere else where I can buy, you know, fake love air hugs for a dollar. So what does she do? After all that embarrassment... She comes running right back to him. That's cult. That is a cult control right there. When you literally embarrass someone like that. There was like 300 people watching. So think about that. This lady got accused, and who knows, she probably is, a little fucking kitty peddler. Leaves the chat, and then, you know, next day, because like I said, she didn't have any more, you know, who, who else is going to take a dollar to give an air hug? And I'm so desperate now, I will. So Kit Mama, throw one at me, and I might give you one. I'm just kidding. Um, she ran right back to him. So there, you know what I mean? It's, uh, what was kind of funny is getting kind of serious, man. And I'm not too afraid because it's just like five of them at this point. You know, no big whoop. But uh, still, just to have five of those ladies under your control and being the, like literally the biggest piece of shit in the world, that's insane. That opened up my eyes, you know. Yep. Yep. Yeah. All right, like I said, I, I don't know what those people are thinking, man, because I'm already, like, when I thought I did, I'm beyond that, so, and I don't even want to, like, lose brain cells trying to figure it out. Like I said, obviously, it's a small percentage, so I'm not too worried about it, and like I said, once he gets locked up, they'll, they'll, they're will they going to drift to somebody else, you know? You think those ladies are going to wait three months for an air hug? No. They'll find somebody else for air hugs. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, I don't know what people's intentions are. I don't know if it's for drama, it's for content, whatever. But I'll tell you what. I mean, find somebody else to try to leech off of and get some content off, you know? Why do you want to leech off of somebody that's wanted in three states that beats women, beats his mom? I mean, like I said, there's a plenty of crazy people on the tubes that aren't as bad as him. Y'all can leech on. Y'all can get a little of that clout. Build your little channel up. I mean, whatever your intentions are. But, man... Don't, don't let Ski be the one, because I'm going to tell you, if you even, like, think you're going to start a channel with him, he's just going to nuke it for you, okay? Like I said, you, think about it, okay? Think about it if you were one of his friends, right? You think that guy's going to, like, let you have a channel with more than 100 subscribers on as your friend? No, he's going to get jealous, and he's going to say, hey, I helped you get that, that channel up to 100, so you better start paying me, you know? And when you don't pay him, look at what's going to happen. He's going to do, like, what he did to me. He's going to dox me. He's going to tell you where I'm from. Tell you my phone number, man. He's going to tell you how I looked when I was eight years ago. He's going to give you my AOL account. Shit. You know? You don't want that. You don't want that at all. I can handle it because I don't have nothing to hide. I mean, what's funny is the guy... Let's put it this way, right? Because, you know, even you little crazies, you understand how to bullshit. So think about it, right? If Ski really knew that I had felonies or I was wanted or DUI whatever he said don't you think that's how he would have started the whole conversation with is the worst thing by saying oh guess what i found new jersey courts has a dui no first he started by doxing my information then my picture and then when that didn't work he made up this whole story that i have a dui that i'm married that i i mean you know what's funny is he's pretty much just copied what he's guilty of abandoning a child <laughs> you're funny dude yeah, uh, if you want to send me some ski stuff, I have an AOL. I'll give it to you here after the stream, okay? Stay tuned. Mm -hmm. And it didn't work out. Like I said, he's not back in... Even the IP2 community wouldn't do anything to me, okay? They don't fuck with him. They hate him, okay? 
Plus, I know a lot of people from that community. I might not be part of I mean, I grew up watching it as far as, this, you know, when I started watching streamers. But I don't have any affiliation with them. But I can guarantee you they they wouldn't fuck with me like that because they hate Scoop. So what are you going to do? You're going to leak my information to a bunch of fucking 60-year-olds? What are they going to do? Call my fucking old phone number that's 8 years old? The one that when you call it goes, Dee you reach a number that's been disconnected. Get the fuck out of here, dude. That was all about just making content and the dinero. Like we said, it's all about the dinero. Uh, I don't, I'm not, I'm not but uh, thank you. I appreciate that. There's some pretty smart people. They just put their minds to it. Hold on. God damn, I hate this speaker. It's supposed to be this big, but it shuts off every two seconds. Hold on. Okay, it's back on. Yeah, no, no, that's that's what's crazy. Do you realize most of those mods are, are mothers or grandmothers? I mean, that same mouth that they're... Yes, you think about it today, right? Uh, there was about three of them. That's like I said, most of his viewers were pissed. That's why they left, okay? But there was this little three, like I said, he's got a click of like three to five nutsos, okay? They were the only ones going, yeah, Ski, you got him, blah, 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 blah. So think about it. You guys are moms, grandmas. Your kid, you're kissing your kids with the same lips that you're, you know, literally uh, encouraging somebody to dox a family, to bully somebody. Uh, he said it, right? He said, I'm a vet. My dad's a vet. My mom's a vet. You think that's kind of cool? And that's why we don't care, okay? Because if you've been in the same situations that we have, or if you're vets, you know, you think we're afraid of a piece of shit like Ski? <laughs> Ski, you're a joke, bro. No one left. Ski got hundreds of viewers I've seen. He's botting his things, and even if he's not, I don't care. I mean, think about it. There's probably, he's a low cow. You understand, I have to watch him. Literally, my TV's on his stream right now. It's, it's my stream. As a clipper, you gotta always clip, 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 and watch, okay? So... Most of the like views on his channel, they're just people that are watching him. They're just waiting. Literally, they're just waiting to see the cops bust in live and arrest him, to be honest with you. Watch his chat. His chat's the same people. It's the same three to five ladies. Okay? His chat doesn't even go... Thrrr. Okay? It goes... That. 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 Same three ladies. Uh, she's not a veterinarian, but she's a vet. Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> so my mom is a vet. My mom actually served in the Mexican Army. Not the U.S. Army, but she's a vet of the Mexican Army. My mom's from Mexico. Eso no aprende como hablar español. I'm bilingual. Oh, I know he's seething. He's talking about me. He's promoting my channel. He's so stupid. He's gonna go back on if he's not on right now, and he's gonna just, he's gonna dox again. Let's see, what is he gonna show? He can't show anything, because I was a Chad. I'm not gonna lie, I was a pretty, I, you know, for being a small guy, I was a Chad back in my days, okay? I worked out, I had a six pack, you know? Uh, not gonna mention any other things, because I don't wanna sound cocky, but he's not gonna show you the pictures of my ex-girlfriends. Show him, Ski, show him all the pictures, show him. You show them the worst picture you can find? <laughs> okay. That's like I said. Welcome, Ski. Come on over, buddy. But anyways, no, I'm just kidding with you, but... No, he, the worst picture you can find was me finishing a marathon. That tells you something, right? You know Ski. You know what he's going to do. I mean, you might as well just took this picture right here and started making fun of me. I don't know why you took a picture of me looking good. I mean, shit, all your ladies are going to be all jealous and come over to my side. Because, ladies, I told you, this is just COVID. Give me one year, I'll be back to those pictures he showed you, okay? Hey, Yoshi, I appreciate that. You know, we all give each other some. And you know what? I'm sure he got a lot of viewers from all the clips that I put up. So, I appreciate you coming. Like I said, uh, I, I'm not a big hater, man. I'm just after the, the criminal. Not, not the person, the criminal. Like I've said before, if David wasn't wanted in three states, almost about to be four, if he didn't beat his mom, if he didn't beat his ex-girlfriend, if he didn't threaten him, let me just put it this way, guys. Hold on. You got me. Speaker's down. Hold on. No, no, no. I know what I did. God damn it. Thank you, guys. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. This speaker is up. Something's not. <laughs> oh, you're gonna hear your dono. Trust me, I don't scam. 
I thought the speaker was down, and I'm like, I don't scam, dude. The speaker was all the way up. It almost blew my ear. Hold on. <laughs> okay, it's on. Let's see here. I know I can replay that, man. Hold on here, y'all. I'm not going to do you injustice here. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if I can go back or not. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. That was a $10 dono. Put in the chat what you want me to do. If that's not enough, when I get back to my friend's house, I'll replay it and we'll take oh. care of you. I just don't wanna do it now because I don't know if I can get back on. Over there, I have a laptop so I can, you know, do stuff. I can get on the donation alerts and replay it. I don't know if I can do it here. I'm new to this. But if you tell me how you like me to thank you, I will thank you and I'm gonna repeat what you said. So put it up here. Oh, you do even better, man, because this shit was up. I'm kind of pissed that it didn't blast up. Man, that makes me upset. God damn it. All right. I'm sorry. I don't like to scam people. So, like I said, we'll fix that. We'll get that going. Ski <laughs> stick says you're killing dude. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, the funny thing is, is not only does everybody know that. Did you try to flex on being Mexican? What does that mean? No. I, I think this is the first time you guys ever heard me uh, hablando el español, okay? But, um, yeah, dude, the dude, like, here's the funny part is, is not only, like, you know, all the shit that he talks about that he says he's not, it's on film, it's videotaped. It, this isn't even allegations or lies. Like, when he says he's not a snitch, right? Uh, there's at least three videos out. Remember, there's the one where he goes up to the security guard in Hollywood, and the guy maces him. What does he do? He calls the cops right after. Snitch. I have that on my compilation. That's on my one of my videos. Uh, what's another type? Oh, yeah. Remember when he was in the subway or whatever and he snitched when these people... He just got himself involved in somebody else's business. Then it started turning on him and then he snitched. The dude is a snitch. And it's on video. That's what I think is hilarious, man. The dude like says, no, I'm not. It's on video. And all he has is just a picture of me after a marathon. Come on, Ski. Where's the receipts, dog? Where's your receipts like they say? Show everybody that I got a DUI and that I have kids and that I'm an absconder. Whatever you say, I don't give a shit. No. Oh, yeah. You know what's funny? She doxed herself. And there's people that are... I, I don't want any part of that. But I'm telling you, if you're watching Jelly Bean or whatever you are, you fucked up. And especially tonight, those people... I told them not to do anything, and I still haven't said anything, but I, I can't control what they're going to do after what Ski did tonight, so good luck with that, lady. Coming on fucking live stream right out of work with her fucking work uniform with her tag right here. I didn't even zoom in, and I was like, oh, no, this is not going to be good. And you know, what's, you know what's screwed up? Ski knows that, okay? Ski doxes people. He knew she was going to get doxed. And you know what? He let her get doxed because he's going to use that as... Right? Yep. He's trying to call you and your family? Go ahead, Ski, call him. <laughs> He's stupid, man. This is, this is, this is, you've got, have y'all, now that all the messages have, have been exposed, right? You saw what Jen put out, um, she talked about it on my stream. Gish put out some messages this evening on Landon's stream. You see what, what, what comes out, right? This dude is like, all he does is lie. And he's hiding a really shady past, and it's coming out now, which is hilarious, man. No, he really is. Hey, what's up, Jen? Oh, uh, that's always fun, working on your new kitchen. I love kitchens. I love to cook. Join some country music. I like country. I like all type of music, but I do love the country. You should know that, Ski. You should see my boat. I always, when I was at the lake, we always play country music at the lake. Oh, it's the boat. Show everybody my power boat. It's a 99 Baja. Ooh, don't tell them the price of that, baby, huh? You guys ever ridden a 99 Baja? 454, or excuse me. It had a, uh, excuse me. Oh my gosh, what engine was it? It had 454 horsepower, but it was pushing... Oh yeah, there we go, it's a 454 mag. There we go. 
But you don't know about that cause you've never even been on a boat ski mask. Let's see, inexperienced NGC is with live streaming at Ski. Thank you. I don't think I'm doing that bad. I mean, I'm learning. Thank you, though. <laughs> but I'm not inexperienced as far as the whole, like, doxing thing. I'm not worried about that, that's you're saying. But, yeah, I am barely learning how to come on time, do everything. So, yeah, you got me for sure. I'm not going to lie. Thank you. We learn and we go. We learn and we go, you know? And that's how we do it. Might start trying to learn how to drive an airplane so I can just rent my own airplane when I have to go to Tulsa. It'll be quicker. What do you think about that, Ski Mask? Do you think Ski Mask is licensed is even active? I think that dude's driving illegally, to be honest with you. I know he doesn't have insurance or registration. Hobo in Albuquerque. Is he really? Does he know where I'm at? I know who Hobo is. What up, Jimmy? You want me to take it off? Here, watch. We can do this. Look at I'll put on a different one. That way you can, uh... Here we go. I think I saw this. I was playing with this the other day. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Here, I'll give you a different hat. Mm -hmm. How about this one? Is that better for you? You like the luchadores? I'm just kidding, Tulsa. I hope you're on my side, PD. Dude, did you see that? It blows smoke. Oh, um, maybe I am in Mexico. You know. You never wear. You never seen a knit hat before, dude. Look at that. That's crazy. When does it do that? Hold on. I don't know how you activate that. That's crazy. I don't know how. To. Okay, let me take this off. That's <laughs> too much fun. Dude, now you're going to make me end my stream like messing it up. You're a troll. You're trying to get me to press the wrong button. Dude, how do you do that? <laughs> okay, let's take this off. This is too much. Dude, oh my god. Now you guys got me. Holy moly. You guys got me. Fucking with all this shit. All right, here we go. Off. There we go. There we go. More info, please. Or recap. I'm drunk and doing renovations. Please recap. Hey, you know what? Uh, that's fun, but man, I, I hope you're not doing any like plumbing stuff because I tried that drunk one time and that was a fucking mess. Painting, that's fun, drunk, but you know if it's something to do with like your like shit you gotta bury in the ground, you don't want to do that, drunk. I'll tell you that. But let me give you a recap. I'll give you a good recap here. Recap is, is let me put my food away. Hold on. I don't want to eat any more in front of you. I feel that's rude, but I was hungry, man. I didn't eat all day, and then we did that whole zoo excursion, you know, so. Oh, man, the favorite rant? Shit. Let's see. That's a good question. Mm. Honestly, you know, it, uh, man, I wouldn't say it's a rant. I would just say my favorite calling out is probably have to be the Hollywood video. You know, this that's where he said he was from, how he's a badass. And in literally that video, he gets punked. He gets his phone smacked into an alley. And, and at that same time, when he says he's not a snitch, there you go. That is my favorite video. He snitches. He calls the cops. So there we go. We got three aspects of Ski and that. That's why I like that video. Shows he's a pussy. It shows he's a shit talker. And it shows he's a snitch. And he lost his phone. He says he's never lost his phone and people stole it. Yeah, they smacked it out of his hand like a bitch. And then he went, I'm going to call the cops. Somebody call 911. When he ran and called the cops. Dude, and then he, there's a lot of ski moments. Remember when he went and tried to start crap with the old um, Brandon running in the cut? I mean, dude, that dude's... Honestly, I think he's probably embarrassed as more in Hollywood. What he talks like, that was his... Sorry, I was burping. That was like his home town or whatever. 
I think he's probably had the most embarrassing moments in Hollywood. Okay, sorry, Kay, thank you. So the update is this, okay? Update is, I just wanna to be too loud and be rude, but update is this. So the update is, is Monday is the next court hearing for Ski Mask End, okay? He's left us with three options. It was just originally two, okay? One was he has the option to take a plea offer. The plea offer is for three months or 90 days of going to jail. There's probably some fines and other things attached to that, but the real hard time is three months, 90 days in jail, okay? That's what he's going to court for, okay? Now, if he doesn't take the plea, which he's probably not, they're gonna go ahead and just reschedule for what's called the jury trial. This is the jury trial hearing. This is what we fundraise today for and what we're gonna keep fundraising for until we leave for that, uh, that trial. Uh, that's gonna consist of six members of a jury, not 12 because it is a misdemeanor hearing. And um, essentially, that's what his, a lawyer has advised him against doing. So pretty much his, his way of thinking, because he's a stupid, and is he thinks because he's paid, and it wasn't him that paid it, it's either his grandma or mom, I don't know and I don't care, but whoever paid the money for the lawyer, he thinks the only way he's going to get his money out of it is by having the lawyer pretty much finish till the end, okay? He doesn't think the lawyer telling him to take the plea deal is worth the money. He'd rather go to a jury trial, and the lawyer's not going to do shit, okay, at that point. You know, they're just going to pretend they are, but the lawyer already told you take the plea. He's seen your record. He knows what's going to happen. Think about this. This is a lawyer that's probably been doing this for the minimum. I mean, he looks like a pretty young dude and inexperienced, but I would say the guy's probably got at least five to six years of, you know, dealing with shitheads like Ski. You think he's not going to know what to do or when to tell somebody to take a plea, okay? So Ski's already walked himself if he doesn't take the plea into pretty much a jail sentence, okay? Now, the third option. This is one that just came up. Ski has been talking recently that he's going to flee. I don't know if that was just done for attention, which now with this whole doxing thing, I, I kind of feeling that that might not be what he's going to do. He was just trying to bring that up for a way to, you know, donate uh, or excuse me, bait donations. You follow me? So when he says, hey, I'm going to I'm going to take off, I'm going to leave. What does he want? He needs gas money because everybody knows he's broke. So when he says that, all his, all his donators know he needs gas money, he needs weed money. Essentially, he just needs money to drive 10 miles out of his town. So that was just, I think, a, a, a shitty attempt of trying to bait some donos. It didn't work, and he changed the subject right away. Um, I think it'd be stupid of him, you know, in his brain, if he's already going to go to the jury trial just because he thinks he's getting his money out of it, I don't think he's going to not show up to his trial, get a bench warrant issued if he's already spent this money. You follow me? That, that doesn't make sense to me. He's hitting his thinking. He's like, well, I already spent this much money. I might as well show up tomorrow or Monday. And, you know, so he, I'm pretty much 98% sure that it's just going to go to the jury trial hearing. And uh, that's what we're fundraising for. That's going to be the hearing that I talked to you guys earlier about. That um, not only are we going to be there like this last time we went to publicly attend the hearing, um, which he didn't show up and he lied. He lied. He called his lawyer and said that he had COVID. The lawyer lied to the court. Um, lawyers, not really his fault, but on behalf of Ski Mask, Ski Mask pretty much um, lied, which is contempt of court. So, uh, typical Ski Mask, you know. And, and just because I was showing up to your court hearing, I was going to sit down in like a wooden bench, like probably 30 feet away from you in the front which I have every right to, and I'm the pussy? Yeah, Ski. Anyways, so, and then that's not the point. We didn't come there to check him. You know, we didn't, we, 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 you know, we, because of his public information, I know where his mom's house is. I mean, I, I have a lot of information from, did I dox him like he did? You know, did I, you know, I have his social security number, which I've already shredded that piece of paper out of just my own professionalism, okay? And even if I still had it, I wouldn't have shown it tonight or threatened him. I'm not that type of piece of shit, so um, I don't care. But that's what I'm just saying is this is a guy that likes to, but doesn't realize, you know, what people have on him. And I'll, they're, 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 I'm just going to put it this way. He, he's fucked. So that, that's really all I'm going to say. You know, if he doesn't go to jail this next jury trial hearing, he's still wanted in three states. He's got a federal indictment that's about to come down on him. Uh, the state's watching him for what he's doing, okay? They're fully aware of what he is, who he is, and what a scumbag he is. So he, he's not going anywhere doing anything. He's fucked and he knows it. That's why he's doing this last-ditch attempt to make himself look cool before he gets locked up. It's like I said, he's a scammer, okay? He's got to eat. He's got to smoke every day. You think he's going to stop? You think this guy... Let me just put it this way. 
if even if he knew he was going to jail in like three days, right? You think he's just going to stop hustling those three days? Absolutely not. He's going to scam these people till the last fucking minute. Till he's literally getting dragged into the fucking jail, okay? Why? Because he has to eat when he's in jail. He has no mother that's going to send him anything. He has no girlfriend that's going to send him commissary money. He has no commissary money. He's going to go in in jail as a pedophile pretty much for being a woman beater. And he's not going to have any commissary money. So what is he doing now? He is doing everything he can to raise the money to pretty much buy him all the ramen noodles and hot pockets he needs to last three, two months to, I don't know. And honestly, dude, it's going to cost a lot of money to eat ramen noodles for over a year. So, you know, you better be ready for that and figure that out, bucko. Yeah, and you know what's funny? Those old men don't give a shit. Like I said, all they are there is just for air hugs and the views, okay? They don't, they, they tell them that shit because they don't want him to go anywhere, okay? Like I said, where else are you gonna find a fucking monkey for a dollar that's gonna jump, hug you? I mean, I could literally donate a dollar right now and say, Ski, I want you to say NJ Quartz rule and yell it as loud as you can in your bathroom. He'll do it. You know what I mean? So, you know, like I said, nothing's gonna change with that. And, but I'll tell you what, once he's locked up, those ladies are going to move on, okay? You think they're going to care about him? They're not going to get no more air hugs. They're not going to get no more air kisses anymore. Peace, they're gone. So, And he knows that. That's why he's going to scam as much money as he can so that he's got at least like a month's worth of commissary set up. The guy thinks ahead. He's a, he's a criminal. He's a con. Okay, when you know you're going to go to jail, why are you going to make it miserable for yourself, right? If you already know you're going to go to jail, you're going to do everything you can to make it comfortable for yourself. So, he's already planning ahead. He's scamming people now. He's going down to the lowest of the low trying to dox my family when he could have just came at me, okay? And he didn't even dox my family, which is hilarious. And if anything, he just made me look like a more of a Chad than he is. And it is true, okay? That's why his best picture he showed you is me finishing a 26.2 marathon, mile marathon. Ski, show the rest of the pictures, bro. Show them with all the girls. Show them with me at the lake with all the girls, my boats, all the good times I had. I'm not embarrassed. I have nothing to hide. Show them. Show them. If you think you're going to dox me, show them everything. And he's not going to show you those pictures. That's it. What was his best picture? Me, like I said, me and a, a finishing a run. Ooh, wow. That, that, that really makes me look bad. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Ah, leave her alone. They're, they're, those are, you know, they're, they're gonna float in here. Like I said, he's got about five of them left. They're, they're gonna, those ladies are gonna, they're, they're like kamikazes, okay? They're, they're not gonna leave until they just go out with a bang, you know what I mean? They're gonna, tch, tch, tch. ski mask, you know. 26.2 two tone. No, I'm just kidding. It, it is 26.2, but. Yeah, 22, let me tell you about this, though. At 22, you're, my legs, at least for me, they're out. So about the last four miles, I got to walk it. I'm not going to lie, okay? At 22 miles, my legs are done, okay? I walk, I, I'll, like, I'll, like, limp for, like, three seconds, and then I get, uh, your legs just cramp. <laughs> so you either got to just walk, or you're just going to have to, like, do a little run, walk, cramp, run, walk, cramp, run, walk, cramp, which I've done. But at my age, I'd rather just walk the last four miles than do the old run walk cramp one run walk cramp thing <laughs> and if you've done marathons y'all know what i'm talking about even a half marathon will get you that way anything else anything else y'all got questions let's go let's go i'm just kidding i love y'all man i appreciate y'all tuning in man yeah if some of y'all just tuning in you guys want to see the uh, breaking bad little uh little memorial you ready all right let me show it to you No, she doesn't. I watch everything. I watch everything. Trust me. I, I've already talked to my mods, and they know who and what to ban. So, and I, they're very neutral. So, trust me. Trust me. I, I watch. I, you know, I, I may not be watching a lot when I'm streaming, but I, I've seen enough of the people that come on and troll me to know that they're not banning everybody, and I don't want them to. So, that is a no. Hey, what it, what happens at Ski Mask? Cold beans happens too, right? And that doesn't happen. Because I'll tell you what, I was watching the show with her on, and her name was mentioned plenty of times, and it wasn't banned. So, and you might hate me, and that's fine, and I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be mean, but I, I, I'm sorry, I'm just, you know, until I know somebody, I'm not going to listen to somebody or, you know, even take advice to, not to be mean from somebody that I don't even know. 
Especially right now. You know how many people, like, as soon as, which is funny, man, as soon as you hit that thousand mark, man, like, all sorts of haters come out of nowhere. And I don't see why. Like, you realize that a thousand viewers or subscribers is nothing, right? Like, you don't get any special nothing. You don't get a little plaque from YouTube. Nada. Um, I could be happier with 10 subscribers to a thousand. But my God, as soon as I, like, I could have been at 900 and 999. Nobody. As soon as it hit a thousand, man they come out of the woodwork and it's weird i don't even know why i'm not even popular i mean shit dude look at it ski mask gets 300 viewers <laughs> man everybody wants to hate sometimes but that's just the way the internet is so i guess it's just part of it i guess that's what i'm kind of learning now and it doesn't hurt me but damn it's it sucks uh, i don't know where all this hate comes from sometimes da, 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 da. yeah <laughs> uh, he'll be in jail by the time that happens I'll tell you that by the time I could come close to 10,000 viewers that dude will already be in two years in jail but hey I'll take it that, that would be an awesome accomplishment I actually already hit a really good accomplishment I'm just going to keep it a secret for a bit because uh, uh, I, 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 it's, uh, it's a little surprise for y'all but it's pretty cool I'm not going to lie I'm, I'm pretty stoked Oh, LD already getting in the game. You guys ready for the big game tomorrow? Yeah, cold beans. You know, you're bringing a lot of stuff up. And I, and I understand where you're coming from. You know, not going to deny. Not going to deny some stuff. But you know what I mean? Let's let's not, uh, you know, you're not banned yet. So so what's what's the big deal? Is this your all? Did you get banned before? If not, if you did, I'll, I'll unban you. Otherwise, who, who are you defending? That's what I don't understand. If that's your alt, what's your real name and I'll unban you. Otherwise, what's the big deal? Just care that you're not banned, right? I don't see why people have to speak for other people unless you're just a ski sip. Nano Andy, thank you. Cool, I'll take that. Even though she's on a lot of drugs and I'm not on, but that's what's up. No barbecue chicken. <laughs> What's up, Skid Mark? All right, let me show you that uh, Breaking Bad little, uh, little cool little montage in case you just guys joined in before I did it. Okay, you ready? 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 Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Mm. All right, so. This is the little montage here. We're eating at what's called, this is the restaurant here we're eating at. So during the movie, they call, or excuse me, during the series, it's Los Pollos Hermanos. And this is kind of their montage here. Yeah, pretty cool. They got a little, oh, watch out, ski. Don't get all crazy. I don't want to have you relapse on the mess. But yeah, pretty cool, huh? Got a good picture, Mr. Vince, there. This was it right here before. Well, I guess no, that's it with the sign up. Yeah. That's what, I like this picture right here. It's kind of like a Jesse meets Walt. Yeah. Yeah, and then watch, watch. Let's, is there some pretty cool stuff? Um, let's see here. It, it, see what's really cool about these places is like if this was like probably in LA people would steal this shit But there's actually like autographs and stuff here. There's actually notebooks with autographs and stuff that people can just You know check out It's pretty cool This is a if you ever come down here you can take a Breaking Bad tour Yeah Oh yeah, here's one of them. Here's these are cool autographs. Here, there's Jesse and Walt. That's a badass picture there. I'm not gonna lie, I would love to have that in my house. That one is low. That one's dope right there. That's dope. Oh, who's this? There is. Who's that? Uh, okay. Cool. There's some of the some of the gangster wangsters. There's a little scene right there. Ah, pretty cool, huh? 
I think they might be closing up. Let me get my stuff. I'll go outside here. I'm going to call my friend and tell her to come pick me up. But I'll talk to you guys outside. Oh. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to come on and just, you know, show you guys. I'm not afraid. Ski was like, oh, here's what's... All right, we'll talk about this here in a sec. This is hilarious. Oh, yeah, everybody's leaving here. Um, what was hilarious was is he was trying to claim that I... Uh, oh, he was trying to get me to go on his panel. Which, yeah, right. And uh, second of all, you know what happens, right, when you try to go on his panel. He just bans you or he silences you. And then he thinks he's funny by telling people, what are you trying to say? Why are you so silent, bro? Why are you so silent? Dude, everybody can tell you're the one controlling the volume and you don't want... But you know what's funny is Landon got him good, bro. Anytime that he did come on and it was loud, it was like such a little hate like message for him. It was funny, man. Oh, dude, the Landon's chat, Landon, if you're watching... You guys are awesome, man. You guys troll the shit out of Ski, dude. <laughs> Fuck the Toad Army, bro. The, the, just the, the Ski, anti-Ski Army, bro, like NATO. We were like NATO today, bro. We had forces coming from every fucking side. Danny, fucking Landon. I'm sure Bombshell's probably gonna be posting shit tonight. I mean, I'm not even a fan of half, well, you know, you know what my boys are, Landon and Jenny, but, you know, Bombshell's had some words with me, but hey, no hate, but yeah, dude, this was a uh, total, total, oh, cool, check this out, put my head, dang it, I wish Ski was here, he could have took a selfie of me, Ski, come on down, I would have asked you to take a picture of me, dog, but anyways, um, everybody came in like NATO, bro, and just, and, I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean not to hold that for you. I apologize. Um, and just annihilated him, dude. You know, because, you know, as much as we all kind of troll each other and have fun, we don't put up with the shit he did. And it was disgusting what he did. And like I said, even his own viewers knew that. They they saw it. He, he went from like 200 to like 98 in a split second, okay? Like I said, you posting all those nice, beautiful pictures of me looking good with my six-pack, bro... Half your little Donna Joes are going to become running up to my ass. So you fucked up, son. So thank you for the free shout out. That's all I got to say. Whoa, shit. I'm about to just put my stuff on this person's car. That's a good way to get your ass kicked. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> See, you guys got me all fucking, I'm all looking at the chat. <laughs> And those people are walking out right now. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, they're closing right now, so everybody had to go outside. <laughs> I'm all about to lean on their fucking car like it's a fucking bench. <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm on light. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> yeah, well, it doesn't matter. At least he's got viewers, man. Y'all know what happened, right? Before, I mean, once he got it. I mean, he wasn't even powered of IP, too. He never was, never nothing he was just a leech he's just a bully and he had he had a good little following of like 20 people you know 20 to 30 people so you know that that's that's what the ski mask show was for like probably years was just 20 to 30 of his you know followers um occasionally donating to him he wasn't getting you know I, I, he's not getting cash apps at all right now i know that that's why he's seething you know why he's so mad right because and and that's what he's so stupid see like when you lie Nothing comes out out of it, okay? So here's what he did, right? He's now started pretending to get cash apps, okay? Well, he thinks in, ski, in Ski's head, he thinks that's going to scam people to think, okay, I'm getting cash apps. One, my haters are going to think I'm getting cash apps. And two, it's going to make all these ladies want to donate cash apps to me. <sighs> that's absolutely the complete opposite of it, okay? One... These ladies are going to think if you're getting cash apps, you don't need any more money, so they're not going to donate to you anymore. And two, we already know you're not getting the cash app. So when you go out there lying for so long and you're not getting any, you're going to look stupid. Like tonight, he is pissed off. He is so upset that this dude spends 12 hours a day bullying people online and he thinks he should get paid for it. I mean, dude, go out and fucking film yourself doing something. Go feed the ducks. Do something, man. But you think you 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 claim the right to your name just because you you sit on a couch smoking weed in your mom's house all day, being a piece of shit son, doing nothing at all, and now I owe you? Get 
the fuck out of here, man. And like I said, all, all these new viewers, they're going to be gone in here in the next one. If he's already in jail, they're going to be gone. But if not, then, you know, say, for example, they put their jury trial for like a month and a half. Dude, this guy's already doxed like two or three of his like top mod or new top mods, excuse me. So nothing's changed. He's the same old ski. You know what I mean? Same old piece of shit ski. That's it. That's all he is. So nothing changes. And like I said, you know, his viewers come on here. Oh, what are you going to do? And after him. I have I have a list of people that we you know we can look at and decide who we want to investigate next. And like I said, these are bad people. These are not people we're picking on. These are fucking multi-time felons that are wanted still and are out driving and just causing havoc, okay? Like I said, my concern is public safety. If y'all don't have anything to do with public safety, I don't care if you sit in your fucking house, your dungeon, your mom's basement, and, and talk shit all day. My beef is when you're a felon, you're wanted in three states, and you're running around in your car smoking weed, talking shit, threatening women, threatening children, threatening to dox my family. I mean, fuck you, Ski. Like I said, bro, you're, you're nothing but a piece of shit, and everybody knows that. And even your own viewers, you're down to your last five little fucking nutsos, okay? And they're about to ditch you in a week, and you know it, so... I don't even have to address that guy. And like I said, honestly, I'm going to be happier than shit once we end that chapter. Because, my God, does he give me a headache? And he's not too bad. It's listening to those dumbos is what fucking burns my brain cells, man. I'm not kidding you. I, I literally, I love clipping. I had to stop clipping for a while because these ladies, they're burning my brain cells. And as I'm getting older, I'm losing them. I've told you guys this before. And I don't have too many, okay? And I don't want to waste the last ones I have just listening to Donna Joe and Kit Mama, you know, say the same thing. Yeah, Ski, you're the man, Ski. Yeah, it's okay you beat your mom, Ski. I'm sure she deserved it, you know what I mean? Fuck your mom, Ski. You're such a nice guy. I'm sure she deserved getting fucking ninja kicked into the fucking door and breaking her shoulder in three different places. Love you, Ski the fuck out of here and then like i said these well not all of them but with the exception of a handful you know these are professional ladies like actually like you know taking care of people in the public that's scary man that is insane that you know on their time off on their lunch break they're fucking sneaking around in the bathroom so they can fucking get and chat with their boy ski he is a cult leader he has essentially made a cult of about, it's not scary, it's not bad. His cult is about 10 ladies at the most, four hardcores and maybe six that are about to leave, join the Landon or New Jersey Courts Refugee Program. But, um, you know, even those just last six, man, they're, they're nuts. And uh, I feel bad for them because they're going to learn the hard way, you know. They're going to get doxxed here soon because they're not going to pay their dues. And uh, they're just, like I said, they're, they're just going to be... When they think there's something special, you're not Kit Mama. When when he decides to fuck you over, you're going to be like the probably hundredth person he's done that to. So you're not even special even in the way of getting fucked over. You know what I mean? So join join the fucking list. That's it. You know, and, and all he has is Michelle, the Ski Shell program. Y'all saw that today. He went off on me all day because why? I was out having fun with my viewers out at the zoo. And this motherfucker comes on and just starts doxing me. Where did that come from? It's because he had nothing else to do. He was jealous. Straight jealous. And then he comes on trying to act like it's not. Dude, it's so obvious. My God. Like, sit, like Ski, listen. Stop your narcissism. Just, just think outside the box for a while. How do you think you look out of just out of the blue when I'm doing a stream and you come on and just start talking about me for like 12 hours straight? And then you cap your night off trying to dox me and my family. Okay, not only did you promote me and my channel, but you just made yourself look like a piece of shit in front of the last, last little handful of people that were your last little saviors left. Like I said, you're down to like a, like the last six and that's it. You know what I mean? I've watched your chat, bro. There ain't nobody chatting except the like three fucking nutsos and that's it. You know, they're just fucking every three seconds posting your cash app on there and that's all they do. You know, and then every time you talk shit, yeah, ski, yeah, ski. Exactly. And that's like I said, they're not skis. These ladies aren't pieces of shit. They're not even felons. These ladies have professional careers. They have children that they kiss with the same mouth that they're fucking bullying all these other people and fucking vouching for some piece of shit fuck. I mean, you understand, Ski Mask is not even on the level of like, okay, he's this. He is a piece of shit. 
let me put it this way. Ski Mask, if you're watching, I hope you listen and you learn. Ski Mask is literally, if so, just, just look at it this way. Think about a cockroach. And I'm sorry if you're eating right now. I really apologize, but I have to put it this way. Think about a cockroach uh, just kind of loitering around a, a porta potty after a busy concert weekend, you know, just shit overflowing in the porta potty, right? So here comes the cockroaches, the fucking, the shit suckers, all right? Here they come, sucking on all that human shit. You're not even the human shit they're sucking on, Ski Mask. You want to know what you are? You're the shit that the roaches take after they already fucking finished feasting on that human shit is what you are. And honestly, you're probably the shit that comes out of the fucking microorganisms that eat the fucking shit that comes out of those roaches after they just ate human shit. That's what you are, my friend. You are a fucking six times, seven times convicted felon. Okay, and like I said before, this isn't for fucking selling drugs, gang banging. This is for beating up on women, you fucking piece of shit. And that's all I'm going to address that fuck for, man. He is, he is, and I'm sorry. Like I said, he didn't get me heated because of the doxing. He, I'm heated because it just reminds me, that picture, like I said, I picture a roach just nibbling on fucking human shit and just taking that little dump. At the end of the night. And that's what fucking Ski Mask is. Alright, if he's lucky. On a lucky day, that's what he is, okay? But Ski Mask, you deserve everything coming for you. After I saw what you did today in Desperity, after you had nobody to bully, after you didn't even have your own fucking mitten mama anymore to bully on because you tried that yesterday and it didn't work, right? You saw how many people got pissed at you. Alright, so what do you do? You come at me, man. And all you do is just promote me. You help me. And you're scared. You are so scared that you thought today by doxing me I wasn't going to, you know, hold on, what time is it? Before I, oh, yeah, shit, I have plenty of time. <laughs> Ski, my itinerary didn't change, bucko, so keep on it, buddy. Nothing you do is going to change, just like last weekend, all right? Nothing. You can threaten my life. I hope you don't threaten my family's life because, like I said, my mama don't fuck around, all right? And I already know you already saw what the pictures and you know who my family is, so I, I'm pretty sure that shit's going to stop tonight. I already heard him. Did you all hear him earlier? He was like, I'm a, he got like an email from one of his little like girls or whatever, and he's like reading. He's like, yeah, you're a, and then he stopped. So I, I think that must have been the email that uh, gave you more information about where where the uh, Emilio, uh, what is it, the Volani family comes from? Yeah. So Ski Mask, goddamn, bro, I'll tell you what. I, I'm not even going to go there tonight, folks. I want to stay cool because I'm about to jump on a bus for a long time, and I don't want to be amped up on the bus, especially if I'm going to sit next to a fucking piece of shit like Ski Mask, you know? Some fucking guy that just got out of jail on his way back home to beat his mom on the bus. Because they're there, they're there. I've seen them. You know, most of those people are nice people, but there's some, you know, that's... What do, what do you think happens when they release you out of jail? You ain't got a car. You ain't got money to take a fucking plane. You jump on the bus, so... And that's just my tip for some people. If you do ever decide to take the bus, it's fun, it's cheap, but uh, it, it is dangerous, okay? You're, you're riding the bus with a lot of sketchy people. That's how Ski Mask transports himself is through the bus. He can't take a plane. Well, yeah, I, I don't know if he did last time, but not anymore because he won't be able to get a federal tax, or excuse me, federal ID. He's just lucky. I think the last time he flew to Jersey was just because they just barely, I think we got a few more months before they turn over to the federal ID, which he's not going to obviously qualify for. Honestly, I don't even think his ID is valid, but, you know, that's an allegation. We won't go there. Let me see my friends here. Man, this is taking forever, but I'm not going to complain. I think that was the worker's car. Well, good thing. <laughs> I thought it was those people. <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm gonna wait out here in the front. That way, if I see my friend, she'll see me because she'll see the light. But uh, yeah, um, you know, not, nothing's gonna change. You know, he, he came on tonight. I don't know if it was just because he was jealous of my stream or like I said, he was just trying to intimidate me again. But you know, there's, I. <laughs> Like I've said before, folks, I have never made a personal threat against that piece of shit. All right? I mean, he, he don't even live in Tulsa. I, I When I visited there the last time, I was downtown. I didn't even mention where he lived, even though I do know where he lives. I didn't even say, hey, you guys want to go over there and check out his parents' house? Nothing like that. 
I stayed in downtown Tulsa next to the courthouse, which is where my business was at. And that's exactly what I did the next day. You're the one that tried to threaten my life. You're the one that said you're going to come down there and look for me, and he never did. So, And then the minute I leave, guess what happens? Ski Mask comes on and starts bitching that he's going to kill me and this and that. And I let, you know, it's the same old story, man. Like, honestly, I'm so over you. You, you couldn't do anything to me possibly right now that I would just laugh at, you know. Nothing, Ski. Not a damn thing. Not a damn thing. All right, so... Uh, I know some of y'all, let's see, oh shit, okay, hold on, so let's see if I can fix this donation thing for the person that donated earlier, because I feel bad that we did not hear your speaker, so let me make sure the speaker's on, and I will attempt to see if I can find it and replay it, I wish I could do it through here, let's see, I know how I can do it, I know how I can do it. Currently applied to web. Let's see. Uh. All right, I'm looking. I'll take care of you, though. Don't worry, I didn't forget. So, um, either I'll replay it again this evening, or like I said, uh, if you you know if you have a um, a personal request, I can do that as well. Hey, thank you, Tammy. Yeah. That's cool. And, you know, now is what's funny. He's like, yeah, nobody's even watching him. You know what was funny? I didn't care. I was actually having so much fun knowing that the people that were actually staying there watching me were my real friends because you all are the ones that waited 30 minutes. Thank you. And I apologize for me to start my stream. And you're all the ones that stayed the whole time. And you're all the ones that donated for the fundraiser and almost got us there. We're halfway there, folks. So, one, we're definitely going to hit it. And second of all, I'm going to do another cool fundraiser for you guys, even if we don't fundraise enough. Because, like I said, if we don't hit the goal, I'm going to cover whatever's rest that we have to. Um, I would like to hit the goal. That would be awesome. But, hey, it's not a big deal. And second of all, I had a blast, okay? Whether if I got a donor or not, I had such fun time talking with everybody. And like I said, if you've never experienced maybe a, a, a zoo for the first time, or maybe it's been a while, like for me, you know, uh, I hope I, I gave you a little bit of content, something like fucking couch smoking weed all day and talking shit. And I know I said that earlier, so I don't want to bore you with that, but it's the truth, you know? It's the truth. And that's all we know. I'm super drunk. Listen to Jersey. What's up? Stick. What's up? Well, it's Saturday night, man. I hope you're super drunk. What you drinking on? Are you a beer drinker? Are you a liquor drinker? Are you a mixedologist drinker? Oh, man, and you're remodeling your house? <laughs> I told you, don't do any painting, Stick. Actually, no, painting's fun, but don't do any serious work, especially if you're dealing with a saw, all right? No, no saws tonight, my friend. No saws. <laughs> Super roofer, <laughs> drink combo. Second kitchen, oh, shit. <laughs> well, you know what? If you're doing a remodel in your second chicken, or excuse me, second kitchen drinking vodka, you sound like you know what you're doing, stick, so I won't bug you. Have fun. Okay, I'll check it, Stick. I will. Oh, there's a lot of stuff that got posted to Landon's. I mean, and that's why I thank you all tonight, man. The fucking truth has came out. Ski Mask thought, you know, he was going to fuck with me. Boy, was that a mistake, bro. I'll tell you what, Ski Mask. We found out more about you than what you found out about me tonight. I will tell you that, my friend. I will tell you that. Oh, electricity. Okay, that was somebody else. I was going to say, oh, shit, man. Be careful if you're doing electricity and drinking. Yeah, painting's fun when you're drunk. Because if you fuck up, you can repaint it. But, yeah, anything outdoors or that has to deal with, like, plumbing, electricity. I, I personally don't like to do... I mean, I've never done it drunk, but... I personally, just even being sober, <laughs> didn't enjoy it. So, me, I know how I get when I'm drunk, and I, I there's no way I'm going to figure out that, so... But painting would be fun, that's for sure. But you know, like I said, if you know what you're doing, it ain't no thing. So, it's like secondhand nature, you know. Secondhand nature, my friend. Yep, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Like I said, he's, he's not in... Uh, oh, yeah, that's what I want to show you guys. So this is how it looks. Oh, shit, the lights are out. 
Let me show you before my friend soups me. I think she's almost here. Somebody, she texted me. I'm pretty sure that was her. I just don't want to answer the text because then I'm afraid I'm going to lose the stream. But this, oh man, it's still the lights are kind of screwing up. But yeah, this is the place at night. So this is, you know, this is El Pollo Hermanos. This was it right here. So remember I showed you the picture inside. This is it at night. So just so you know, this is the OG. This is the real... This is the real Pollo Hermanos from the Breaking Bad series. Yep, just like the show, doesn't it, huh? Yeah, here's the parking lot where they pulled up, where Hector pulls up. All the G's pull up right there. Hermanos, hermanos de la Pollo. Perdón. But yeah, man, you know, I'm just here to have fun and show you guys some fun stuff. Like I said, I don't know where this guy got such a fucking idea to just dox me and be such a dick today but hey it's all right like i said honestly i didn't care and uh made him look like a fool and shit man i'm telling you what i, I mean i kind of knew some of the rumors but man i didn't see the receipts for him and tonight i saw the receipts and ski there ain't no fucking i i'm i, I want to see what bullshit you say against those receipts my friend like i said there ain't no shame nothing wrong with swinging the other way but I don't want to hear you fucking start that rhetoric of you bashing on gay people and stuff, especially when you are one, okay? That's what's fucked up. That's what's really fucked up. Let's see here. I'm just looking at the chat. Got me 40. Damn, that's drunk because he's one dude. Hold on. My family members got me four t shirts out of that restaurant because each one didn't know they got the same. Awesome. So they got you from here? So your family's visited this place. Do I really say anger? Oh, I do. Yeah, that ain't my belly though. Look at, I'll, dude, I'm sticking out my gut, dude. You can't even see it. Look it. Hold on. Yeah, you can. Well, I just ate a whole big old ass burrito. But yeah, no, that's pretty cool. That is actually scary. Hold on. Why do I have two shadows right now? What do they say about if you have two shadows? Whoa, dude. There ain't no sun out here. Are you seeing that ski mask? You really want to mess with somebody that's got two shadows coming out from them? That means I'm dead, dog. I don't even have a fucking soul. And you want to come at me? You want to come at the Green Reaper? I know, probably two light sources. See, you guys are smart as fuck. That's why I like you guys. That's why we're going to solve crimes together. And I'm excited about that. I mean, look how far we got together already, man. We're about to put away that piece of shit that's been running around for five fucking years like it's Disneyland, you know what I mean? Just fucking beating on anybody and everybody can get his hands on, except men. He won't do that. He won't touch a guy. That's for sure. All right, so I want to do just some... Let's see here. Let's just say hi to everybody. Thank you, everybody, that's coming on. I'm sorry I'm, I was late earlier today. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, cool. It's everybody else I saw earlier. Cool. I just want to see. I see some. Hey, Nexus. All right, let's go down the line. Just Jen and Nexus. Jennings World. St. Anger. See, I said, what's up to you, Sunshine? Let's see. Going up, going up, going up. Stick. Hypervigilance. Yoshi. Julie Drums. Nays Mimi. Nice to see you. Jersey, of course. Kelval. Oh, one thing I'm reminded because I had to restart my stream tonight. I have two mods that have channels that I would appreciate. If you support me, support them. That's going to be Just Jen and that's going to be an excess of X. Please check out their channels. They've got some good stuff. And, um, you know, that's, that's my shout out to them, especially for the help they've been today, especially for a new streamer. I'm sure they've been answering a lot of your questions and they've uh, pretty much kept my stream going. Uh, because I know uh, I've been a mess, and I apologize. Like I said, two chances. I get three more. If I don't come up on the third one, just unsubscribe for me, okay? I won't get pissed. <laughs> I don't have you blocked. I can see you. I don't block anybody. I'm not kidding you. So I don't know if it might be like if your message gets blocked, it is not me. That is YouTube, my friend. Not that I, unless, like I said, if it's really bad, which I haven't seen any, I'm actually really surprised and happy that, uh, you know, other than hearing what Ski said today, I've never seen any doxes on any of my bad comments or anything like that, you know? So, 
All right, no, 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 no fighting chat. Let's get along. We're doing okay. All right, there you go. Thank you, Nexus. I Like I said, I'm not going to post anything right now because I'm just scared of losing chat like I did earlier. So I appreciate you doing that. So check out any, you know, links you see. I appreciate that. Just give a shout out to the people that care about me and I care about them. So. All right, all right. Just waiting on my ride, waiting on my ride, waiting on my ride, waiting on my ride. Shit, I was, man, if I was, it wasn't dark and it was close to something, I'd start walking to something cool. But uh, there's not really anything fun close here. If we were close to downtown, I would already took it off. It's, it's Saturday night. Yeah, we're not, so let's, let's just go over some of the house duties here. I've already had talks with my mods, okay? They are not going to ban anybody unless you break TOS. And even when I say that, that's like breaking TOS, okay? And you guys know what that is, all right? You've seen the comments that come up. I'm not, you know, a hardcore person. Also, I don't know why people would even be complaining because if you even go on some of the other people's chats, as soon as you give your one opinion, you're gone. You're out of there, okay? I don't do that, and I know my mods don't do either. Like I said, I've already instructed them that the only people that they should be banning, timing out is up to them. Timing out, I don't care. So that means you deserve the timeout. Now, banning, that's a little different because, you know, that, that's saying you did something bad. And unless I think it's bad, you're not going to be banned. So don't worry about that. You might be timed out. You might go to the corner for five minutes or three minutes, but you're going to be right back, okay? A lot of you all know that. I've seen the same trolls on here, okay? If I was a fucking ski mask, which I think is hilarious. See, that's what's so funny. Y'all trolls are so much hypocrites, you know? You come on here talking shit to me, which I'm okay with it. But then the guy that represents you is the first one that just fucking... Anybody that talks shit to him, he bans. He shuts, he covers, he censors. So, I mean, how, you think that's fair? Is that fun? Is that cool, you know? I mean, like I said, I don't give a damn, but... Y'all are about coming in here and, oh, what you're doing is unfair to Randy and all this shit. Well, fuck, look at you, man. You know, you're the one that if you say one single thing, and even if you're his fucking butt buddy, he'll still fucking ban you, all right? We saw that yesterday with Kit Mama. So, y'all trolls, you know, troll me, have fun, but I'm going to tell you what. The only thing I'm going to ever tell you, you guys are the biggest fucking hypocrites. And the one thing I hate the most are hypocrites. So tonight, I hate you. <laughs> yeah what's up Gish thank you for that I saw you going hard at him Gish actually dropped some pretty cool shit about that motherfucker and you know I I don't know Gish personally but I, I don't think she'd be bullshitting those are real receipts and Randy didn't even know how to defend himself against it okay not only has already been rumors going along that he swings the other way like I said there's nothing wrong with that not at all except he's the guy that talks really bad shit about people like that okay when there he is fucking looking that shit up, he's on Grinder. okay? He admitted in, in literally text to this lady that he wasn't into men, okay? There is a receipt. It is available for you guys if you want to see it. Landon was showing it. That is a real receipt that came out tonight because of what he did, okay? That is what I'm telling you is justice. This motherfucker has done a lot of people wrong, right? Whether they were just a little afraid to go after him because, you know, he's a piece of shit or not, I don't care, but the truth is coming out, it's came out this whole week, and there's more coming out, folks, I'm not gonna surprise you or ruin the, the secrets, but there is, if you thought that you've seen it all, I'm sorry, you haven't, that's the scary and I'm sorry and fortunate part, but I'll tell you what, man, thank you, Gish, for coming out and exposing him for what he is, and like I said, there's nothing wrong with being a homosexual scheme, ass. Except what you do is you belittle those people, you talk a lot of shit, and then at night you're going back to a boyfriend or doing whatever you do. That's that's being a hypocrite, man. Imagine what your boyfriend would think if he found out all the shit you talked about gay people and threatening gay people and killing them and stuff like that. And there you are at nighttime calling your boyfriend, you know, hang. I mean, I'm sure that's probably where you're staying. You know, remember when he said he'd go out for like a weekend or so or that person that bought him his so-called real Jordans? One, those Jordans aren't real. We already know that. But two, he did have somebody he went to go see and visit. His boyfriend. He has a boyfriend, okay? Think about it. That that guy needs love, okay? He's young, all right? You see him with a girl? You ever see him talking about girls? No, all right? He's got a lot of anger pent up in him. 
And it's just probably because he's he's just not comfortable with telling everybody he's gay yet. And Randy, if you're watching, there's nothing wrong with that. But just please don't go around, you know, talking that shit you do about people and everybody. And like I said, belittling the LGBTQ2, excuse me, LGBT2 uh, community. And, and there you are, you know, you're you're literally part of it, you know. So that that's what I'm saying. He's a hypocrite. And it came out today. I'm not trolling him. I'm not trying to be mean, folks. I'm not trying to belittle him. This is real information. He, it came out. OK, just like that Netflix guy. Uh, what was his name? And he, he wasn't gay, but, he, you know, he had a relationship with somebody that was. Um, what was it on Netflix? The football player. Remember, it's the same thing with fucking ski masks, except at least that guy came out and admitted to it, admitted that, hey, you know, is a little bit of a catfish. He's not really into that stuff. And it went on. But ski mask, you're the fact that we already know, you know, what your relationship status is and the fact that you make fun of that group and bad and you dox people like that. And you see a lot of bad words, you know, referencing to that group. That's a shame, bro. You should just acknowledge what you, you know, what your preference is. There's nothing wrong. And, and let's move on. There we go. Bro, ski take it down a notch. You're already winning. This is <laughs> all right. I, I, I like that. I will take that uh, advice. <laughs> you are a funny motherfucker, man. Yeah, I know it isn't like WWE, but this ain't no SmackDown. This ain't Monday Night Raw. Okay, this is the truth, and I will calm it down. I, I admit. All right. I, I just got, you know, don't get me wrong. I got a little heated, okay? Not mad. It's just, it just makes me so mad to hear somebody make lies. Like I said, I don't mind if he comes at me. Call me fat. Call me pudgy. Whatever. But don't start saying a bunch of lies, man. You know what? I mean, shit. He could have texted me and I could have told him. I'll send him pictures that he can belittle me with, you know? Shit. But that's the thing I can't stand is when he starts to sh I'm married. I have a DUI. Dude, you, like I said before, you know if I had a real DUI or any record, that guy would have already posted that shit up. So, <laughs> we already know it's false. Thank you for the donation and I will shut the fuck up. <laughs> but there's not much out here, man. I don't know. You know, I can only talk shit or I got to, you know, take you down the streets of the Sur Valle, which might be interesting on a Saturday night. Guys, ever been down to South Valley where they film Breaking Bad? There's a reason why they film Breaking Bad down here. Yes, sir. This is not a really, really, really. Uh, no, I, I love this area. Uh, my family used to grow up here, so I, I, I've been up in this area. Not recently, but whiles back. So, yeah. Are you coming down, Jackson? Let's see, Tucson. I would probably recommend taking the Greyhound. You should be here in about six hours if you do. Let's see. Well, we, well, you know, Sunshine, like I said, we, we're almost done with the chapter of this book. I, I don't know anything about that individual. I, I know who he is. He comes in the chat every once in a while. But like I said, you know, um, we're, we're almost done with this chapter. And once we are, we're moving on. <laughs> so SoCal, why don't you pick up um, Jackson and then y'all head over here together and we'll just roll together. Is that what we're trying to figure out? So if you guys want to meet, 9 a.m. night. So it's going to be 9 a.m. room court. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it should be the same courtroom. So it should be uh, 149 or 148. I got to relook it up. But yeah, if you guys want to meet me down there. I mean, it's, you know, you're certainly welcome. Like I said, it's a public court hearing. Uh, I don't know how you look, so, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd recognize you. But, yeah, just DM me. If you want to come down and meet me, I'll be more than happy to uh, meet you before the, the hearing, and we can all we can all sit together. <laughs> oh, Jimmy. Jimmy and the old Mexican stories, man. I'm sure he's got some tales from old Mexico. Oh, Mexico. Yes, sir. Yeah, so anyways, it looks like... I don't know why I didn't play that last no-no, but we know it's working now, so... Which I'm glad, but uh, I, I will uh, look up that last one and make it up for you guys. Did he really? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> 
You know what's scary though is like I didn't even pre- I didn't like I said I'm not a snitch, dude. I think this was funny. I didn't even go and press. Uh, what is it they tell you you can try to do like a, a YouTube? Uh, I don't know, flag it or something. I mean, Jesus Christ, I, I, I'd figure, what, what is me flagging going to do anything? If they're already letting this fucker go on and speak the way he does, I doubt anything can happen, you know? I'm just going to have to go to the YouTube offices personally myself and just let them know who Ski Mask is. And that might be a next project, my friends. But I'm not going to worry about it because, like I said, that dude's literally going to be in jail in about another, excuse me, two weeks or a month. Like I said, even if he gets lucky, which he's not, the dude's wanted in three states and got the federal indictment about to come on him, so he ain't going nowhere. If that's real, well, hey, he deserved it, you know. Hats off to whoever age restricted him, but that's hilarious. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Let's see, I'm just reading the chat, you guys. Up in the OC. Yeah, you know what? I haven't been to Cali in a while, but I mean, it'd be fun this summer. That's for sure. I, I've been, it's been a while, but uh, I, I like California. I love San Diego. I love San Diego. Oh man, my friend better come swoop me here soon, dude. This, I'm not kidding you. I Like I said, my family's from this area, and you know, here in a little bit, it gets a little bit. <laughs> That's when the Kurikus come out, man. You don't want to be here when the Kurikus come out. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, hold on. I think she's pulling in. All right, guys. Hey, hold on. I'm going to put you guys on... Um, Let's see here. Yeah, hold on. Let me switch you guys. Uh, my friend's not... She's new to this stuff, so let me see here. Oh, my God. Come on. I'm going to put the camera off, but I'll keep the mic on, and we're going to roll all together. I already told her, too, about you guys, so she's uh, she's well aware of the chat. So if you guys donate anything on the speaker, it's not like I'm not going to play it. It's just I don't know if she's cool with me uh, filming her driving and stuff. Especially after what happened today. Oh, Ski, are you sure it's not my wife picking me up, dude? <laughs> oh shit alright hey friend alright she lives really close to here guys so hang on for a bit cause um, I'll actually show you a little bit here of the South Valley that's where she's from that's why I came and ate down here um, shit let me see do you think you can drop me off, friend, over the main... Okay, cool. All right. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, I'm just going to have her drop me off then. And we're going to do a little IRLing. Uh, I don't know how it's going to look in the dark, but we'll see. But it is Saturday night in the Sur Valle. All right. Now I'm reading the chat, so don't worry. I'm reading the chat. Let me just make sure the speaker's on. Okay. All right, you're good, friend. I was just making sure my speaker's working. Okay. Yeah, no, the it's it's on. Yep, it, the camera's not on, but they can hear you. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whoa, shit. That's not what we want to do. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting her all nervous. Don't worry, friend. Yeah, it's off. They won't see. Yeah, she's not used to this stuff, so. All right. Oh, I'm doing well. I'm doing very well. I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. Like I said, uh, let's see here. It is. Oh yeah, it's it's still early. We got a good crowd here. We're gonna do a little IRL still. I'm just gonna have my friend drop me off here where she's staying at. That's my my seatbelt. I got a bad habit not wearing my seatbelt. That's why I like my American truck. It only beeps once and then shuts up. 
All right. Hey, that's cool. I didn't know that, really? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, even though that's like, you know, whatevs. And hey, I appreciate it. Oh, man, that's going to really tick you know who off. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, shit. That's funny. Hey, you know, oh man, you know what he's gonna be all, oh man, that dude's gonna be rambling tonight. Oh well. Well, these guys can enjoy some ra ra seething once I'm done here. So you know that fucker's gonna be seething about that all night long. When before, right, you know, you guys already heard him talk shit about IP2, right? He doesn't give a shit about him, this, that. Oh well, get, get, get ready. If I'm really on IP2, then he's gonna be going off all night tonight about that. He's gonna say all sorts of things, so, jeez. Like I said, I welcome it, but it's just hilarious. It is hilarious. Oh, cool. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I appreciate y'all. I appreciate that. Well, shout out, IP2. Yeah, Ski used to have one of those relationships with them, you know, just like he has with me. Y'all remember the first interview I had with Ski, right? Remember when I went on his panel show? How cute and nice he was with me and how, remember what I told him? Remember, I didn't lie. I guess he must have been a liar. What did I tell him? We can go back to that panel. I said, Ski, it's not going to be that much of a surprise now when you see him at your court hearing. And what did he say? <laughs> and then right after, I got the VOD. Oh, man, he's cool. Yeah, New Jersey Quartz is cool. Shit, I kind of like his videos. Don't tell that motherfucker I told him that. Remember that, Ski? And and then what? Then we go to like a week later, you're going to kill me, you're going to slice my neck, you're going to cut my head in half. <laughs> like I said, I almost used to think it was bipolarism, but I, I just think that's an act now. Obviously, he has mental issues. I'm not going to deny that. But I'm not going to give him that. I'm not going to allow him to, you know, say he has that when there are people that really have that and don't act like the way he does. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I, I'm not going to disrespect people that may really suffer from bipolarism because I, I don't believe him. Like I said, he, he, he gets bipolar every time he makes a mistake is when he gets his bipolarism. Just like today. Literally, he was going off. He literally called his women, his viewers, the B word and the uh, I forgot what other word. And then he goes, sorry, ladies, I didn't mean to call you that. And then right after the other word, sorry, ladies. Oh, yeah, you don't know. No. He said uh, N word and B word. So it was sorry, I'm not racist. And then sorry, ladies, I didn't mean to call you that. <laughs> yeah, Ski. We know your routine, bro. That's what I think is hilarious, bro. He does the same routine every day, man. Every day. But these ladies like it. Like I said, it's, it's not that they're fooled. It's just... Like I told you, dude, you cannot find anywhere else where they're going to give you an air hug for a dollar, okay? Like I said, I can't even go to the dollar store right now and get a fucking Snickers bar. It's going to be $1.25 plus taxes. This dude's giving air hugs to strangers for a dollar. That's a deal. That's a deal that I can't even make, man. That's crazy. I don't, you know, maybe I should, shit. Well, I already get, you know what? I guess I already was giving air hugs out, so I'm a liar. You caught me, sorry. Those were for the gas, the, the laughs. I like to give a shout out. That's what I do. <laughs> Just kidding. We're almost there. We're almost there, guys. Trust me. I'm about to unblind you here in a second. I'm about to unblind you, Ski. Ski, I'm going to show you the real South Valley, bro. You thought fucking Highland and Hollywood was hard? Shit. Shit. They didn't, they didn't film no Breaking Bad up there, homie. Shit. Oh, I know. It's almost getting that time, Jen. I'm sorry to keep you all up. Sorry to keep you all up. You know, I'd like to see. I, I doubt it did. I mean, well, it's been over a year, but that. let's think about this, right? I don't know if any of you broke in your arm. Uh, if you have, you probably still have a scar, right? Especially if you got pins in, uh, pins in it. Yep. So, um, yeah. I would assume somebody that got a, their shoulder fractured in three different fucking places is probably going to have a, a decent scar from the staples or the at least the incision that they had to make. That's for show. 
Faux show. All right, we're almost there, folks. We're getting there. We're getting there. Shit, I should just throw a bonfire. My friend has a pretty cool back. She lives like... So down here, they call them compounds. Um, they're pretty much like one and a half, two acre lots, you know, and they can have one to two houses on them. Uh, they're old, they're old compounds, they're old neighborhoods, you know, so traditionally they always had like a big house and kind of like a grandma house in the back or an RV or a mobile home. Um, so, uh, it's pretty cool because most of the lots here have a lot of room and in the South Valley you can have animals, you can have fires, you can ride a horse if you want. I mean, literally, I've been in the drive through I mean, this was years, years ago. When I used to come visit down here, and you could literally go through a drive-thru. I don't think it's like that anymore, though. Um, you could go through a McDonald's drive-thru, and there could be a horse in front of you. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like, and I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of places like that around the United States, but it's like what they consider like a, a rural-slash-urban neighborhood or uh, area. So it's kind of like old, but it got grandfathered in into like a lot, you know, a lot of these new laws don't allow you to have obviously like a horse or, you know, you have to have a certain amount of room or, you know, livestock. But because this is such an old area, people are grandfathered into their, to their pretty much the old policies, you know, even up to like a hundred years and back, man, it's crazy. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, if I want to throw a huge-ass bonfire right now, I couldn't. There wouldn't be nobody give a shit. I mean, I could pop fucking artillery shells out of her backyard, and nobody would probably give a shit. <laughs> okay, we're here, we're here, we're here. Thank you, friend. I got to just run to the restroom. I'm not going to run out inside. I'm going to just use outside. So, before I go, I, I cam up. Let me just use the restroom. All right, friend, I'm going to be outside for a bit, okay? And I will let you know when I come in. I'll, I'll knock before I go. I'm not going to come up the camera. All right, hold on, guys. Let me just use the restroom. Uh, let me just make sure I got my my speaker on. All right, friend. I'll see you inside. Cool. Thank you. All right. Sorry, it's just, she has a small car, and I had all my gear with me. Mental health is, are you talking about, me? you know, like I said, children and grandkids to dox people, bully other ladies, bully men. It's men and women. It's just not the women. I, I've seen plenty. You know, it's funny. It's because we always kind of tease you women, but I've been on there and seen plenty of men on there, which is almost just as disgusting because, you know, as a guy, you should know that he is a straight up piece of shit. You know, I get it. He might be a little kind of, you know, Romeo to some women that kind of find him a little attractive, but for a guy... <laughs> You should know, you know, that he is not even close to being a man and he's a piece of shit. So, you know, for some of the women, I'll allow you to come back in the refugee program for but those guys. Fuck you. You should know better. Uh oh. See, I already told you. Here comes some action. I don't know what's going on. Hold on. Yeah, this is a really shady neighborhood, so I don't kid around. I'm not trying to, like, troll people. <laughs> I wasn't going to, like, show you guys that shit was going to go down. I just... All right. All right, here we go. All right, let me go pee, -pee really quick, and then we're going to go... <laughs> well, you know what? I don't even... I, you know what? That doesn't even make me happy anymore because what's new? I mean, shit, once the guy gets exposed, he's going to go back to his 30, 20 viewers. So, I mean, anybody's going to have more viewers than him if you have 20 viewers. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, I'm glad. And that's cool and everything, and he can see. But, like I said, it's not even my purpose. You know, my purpose is to have a channel that exposes people, bad people. Like I said, I don't pick on people. I pick on bad people. If you're not bad... You don't have to worry about me. You know what I mean? And I don't even like using the word pick. It's just exposing. Because these people, like I said, they should, you know, most guys that are in Ski's position, I told you already, okay? They're, they're not going to go out. Okay, he thinks he can run around just breaking the law. And just because he's some YouTube enigma that he self-proclaimed himself, that he's free from the rules and regulations of this country, you know? 
and uh, that's absurd, man, especially from a guy like that, you know, he's done nothing to help this country, he's a piece of shit, all he does is waste fucking er dirt and fucking air, okay, um, so that's all it is, New George, can we get a donor goal to buy a new prison wallet for Ski, you know what, we are going to take care of Ski. I'm going to tell you this. You know, I'm not going to leave him hanging, all right? I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to say I did this all by myself, right? This clipping channel started by clipping Ski. So in all fairness, out of the respect out of that, okay, because I'm not a dick, when Ski is in jail, I will promise to at least put on his commissary $5 a week for the first three months Let's see. Hold on. Let me do the math. That might be a little too much. Hold on. That's 20. Yeah, I can do. So. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do that. $20 a month, Ski. There you go. All right. I think that's fair. So with that, we'll get him a wallet, the WAP 99. We'll tuck in a little $20 bill. We'll send it to him. If you like, I can include your little, you know, little comment, you know, hey, from the WAP. 99 and uh, yeah, we'll we'll take care of him, you know, well, like I said, uh, you know, just the first three months and after that fuck him But uh, you know, I, I can't say that I didn't get started without him, right? That that would be lying and I'm not a liar So, you know ski, you know in in, in some fucked up really weird way Thank you. Thank you my friend But um, like I said, it's just gonna be three months 60 bucks $20 a month. That's it after that you're on your own bucko See, I told you, I'm not a bad guy, you know, so there we go, we solved that, so don't say I'm a bad guy. All right, give me a second, I just finished going pee pee, let me just put you guys on the stand, and we're going to walk. Oh, man, I guess I got to do this in IP2 fashion, right, my first night, I got to go big or go hard. So here you go, you want to go big, you want to go hard IP2, you want to see the real shit? And then this Hollywood and Hillshire bullshit. Here we go. Here we go. What the fuck? How did I get out of this shit? Man. God. Oh, fuck. oh, my gosh. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I'll get used to it. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to take you guys off the screen here in a sec. Like I said, it's going to be dark. But uh, uh, it'll be as best as we can get. Best as we can get. And I, I want to make sure the speaker is going to work. So if we're going to get ourselves in some trouble tonight, might as well make sure we get paid for it, right? So, no, I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm not going to do shit like that. I told you, I'm too old for that stuff. So, IP2, I love the shout-out. Thank you for putting me on. But I'm telling you right now, you know, don't, don't expect what you think you're going to get out of me. I'm, I'm 38. You know, my, my, my IP2 years were long, long a ways. But, uh, hey, I, I, I won't do you too bad, all right? So... <laughs> all right here we go y'all here we go let me just make sure what do i got on my battery all right we got a little battery left cool we got enough to just explore oh uh, let me just make sure i got my mace because this is gonna be all right cool no, i'm not saying this is a bad neighborhood or anything i'm not saying i'm gonna get in any trouble but you always want to be prepared right we're always prepared they say in scouts always be prepared so, without further ado, let me show you what I'm looking for. Uh, it's too dark. Oh, shit. I forgot I have to take you. Dude, I, I'm a numb nut. All right, here. Let me take you off the okay, camera on. Here we go. Thank you for that. Let's see. What was that? Far heart control. I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, yeah, existence. Nope. Sorry. I thought it was a donation. It's not, and I'm not going to lie like it was. So, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Looking at. Yeah, I told you it's going to be darker. All right. Let me just see what's. Uh, okay, cool. You're looking in front of me. I told you it's going to be dark. All right. So, we're going to go to a lighted section here. What time is it? Oh, hell yeah. All right, cool. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. See, here's a bus stop right here. We are in the Surveyor Burk. So there's a, a gas station right across there. Shit, man, what the fuck? For Saturday, that place ain't hopping at all. I wouldn't, 
they're even open. Hold on. I was gonna go stand over there. My friend said there's usually a lot of fights over there, so. But there's not a lot of shit going on. You know how the gas stations are anywhere. That's a bad area. There's always a little crowd of action going on. But let's keep walking. That's funny. I'm like, hey, friend, where's the bad areas I can film and get in some shit? She's like, what? I'm like, yeah, you won't understand, but. All right, here we go, crossing the street. Crossing another major street. Gotta be careful here. It's a big street. Big intersection. See, this is where I'm at. And even at night, they're not gonna see me, so. Oh, I won't relax. Trust me, Super Roo. They're not over here. Shit, I'm more, you know what's funny? I'm more worried right where I'm at now than when I was in fucking downtown Tulsa with Randy coming after me, dude. That's a straight truth. Because this is fucking real shit. I don't know if y'all saw some of my fucking live from Tulsa, but I even went down to his little shit area where he talked about that nobody dares go down. He even talked about it today. He goes, oh, oh shit. All right, that's what I told you. <laughs> There's the guy that almost hit me. He says, uh, he goes, oh, he thinks he's all bad because he came to my bad part of town in this. Not really. It was not really bad. It was actually kind of a nice part of town. It was just in the bad part of town, but they were remodeling it. So, and the only reason we went down there is we went to go see the uh, center of the universe, which was really cool. But yeah, I I'm not afraid of anything. Like I said, without getting too much into it, I lost my soul six years. No, what's it been about five years ago? I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm sure there's a lot of people I know what I'm talking about. What's up? Look at this homie. He's bumping. We're bumping. We're bumping. Look at that. You got the little disco lights in the back. Real thugs get down on the flow. On the flow. There's a dispensary there. Little ski mask. There you go. Why don't you come down to New Mexico? It's legal down here, I think. <sighs> okay, hold on. I just got to keep... Okay, not too late. Remember, I leave tonight. But since I have a ride, I don't have to worry about leaving too early. Because I hate waiting at the bus stop. That was kind of the shitty thing this last time. Da, 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 da. Oh, okay, cool. There's some lighting here. Let's see. Let's go to the. Let's go across the street. Let's go to the the store. Real thugs get down on the floor. On the floor. Real thugs get down on the floor. On the floor. Okay, about to cross another big street. Oh shit, we're going through the cut. We're going through the cut, folks. Oh shit. Just make sure my fucking mace is in hand. Oh, uh oh, okay. Alright, let's cross over here. Yeah, there's bad areas wherever. I'm just kidding you. It's not like this place is tougher than anywhere you guys are from. Every city has its tough spot. Same old crowd, same old drug addict, same shit. Hello. I'm just cruising it, just looking for content. We'll just cruise through the store a bit, see if we meet anybody interesting. Anybody want a beer? I think the beer section's over there.
All right. Ooh, shit. Sorry if anybody tried doing it. Oh, it would come on the screen. Okay, cool. I'm gonna say my speaker was off. Now it's on, but it would come on the screen if somebody donates. So, cool. All right, we're good. Just going, going. Content cruising. That's what we call it. Content cruising. I'm not here to make it. I'm here to cruise for it. Yeah, what's everybody gonna do for Valentine's? I better get my wife a present since I just got married tonight according to Ski. You guys wanna see something really cool? I don't know if they got these guys stuff in your area. Oh, let me show you some local stuff. You know what, yeah, let's do that. So, I know, you know, back in the days this is stuff you probably may have not seen in your areas, but maybe now you do. You guys ever had Gancitos? These are super good, man. If you have never tried them, they are awesome. Well, I'll show you something else local here. It's one of my favorite things when I come visit New Mexico. Uh, they may not have it either. I don't know if it's in season yet. Let's see. Let's see. That's for not frozen. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Do we have any people from New Mexico in the chat? It's a great topping on your, oh, here we go, here we go. Great topping on pizzas, great topping on your burgers. You guys know what I'm talking about? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, Let's see. Uh-oh, not yet, shoot. Y'all from the East Coast, huh, like me? All right, well, see, I came originally from this, from this area, so. But, uh, yeah, let me show you here. Let me show you a little delicacy. Oh, cool, in Nexus, awesome. Well, you know what I'm talking about then. Let me show you. I'm not going to ruin the surprise here unless I can find some of it. I know it's around here somewhere. All right, let's go over here. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I was like, they ain't going to not have them. What y'all know about this stuff here? Y'all ever heard of chopped green chili? I'm not talking about the, uh, the marijuana green chili. Yep, yep, yep. I was going to say, uh, there's a base, and uh, there's a military base here, so a, a lot of military brats might be from Albuquerque. You've been through here at one time. Yep, bueno chopped green chili, man. Oh, uh, that stuff's so good. I'm going to take some of that back. I always do when I come over down in this area. It's frozen, so it's sticking in your freezer, and it lasts a long time. But green chili, no, Jen, it is not. Let me show you the difference. It's similar, but it is not. So the poblanos are a lot, they're not as spicy. The green chili is not as hot as like a jalapeno, not even close, which is what makes it delicious. It's got its own little taste, but it is not nearly as hot. Um, I would say it's way better than the poblano, but very similar. So like, for example, like in Mexico, when they do chili rellenos, they use the poblano because they don't have green chilies in Mexico. Um, in New Mexico, they use green chilies. They don't use poblanos because they have green chili here. It's a staple here. It's, I think, the, actually the uh, official flower or vegetable of New Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, I'll show you here. Usually they have them fresh. I don't know if this is the season yet, but you'll see a difference. I'll show you between a poblano and a green chili. Let's see if they got them. They always have poblanos out. Yeah, I guarantee you these are, let's see. Oh yeah, these are Anaheim. So these aren't even green chilies, they're Anaheim peppers. So they look like green chilies, but they're not even technically a green chili because it's not in season. So uh, that's something you may see that they make a chili relleno out of. But traditionally they do use the poblanos, which I don't see. But yeah, uh, the Anaheim chili is close to it, but it's not a green chili. So it's not in season yet but they look very similar. I am not, I'm in Albuquerque actually. Uh, this is the, so I'm transferring tonight uh, from the Amtrak, I'm taking the ground, uh, excuse me, Greyhound to Oklahoma City and then I take, I believe the Amtrak, I forgot, I switch off on one of these, I gotta look, but pretty much I took a combination of Amtrak and bus this time just to kind of get a good idea. And uh, although I do like the Amtrak, uh, it doesn't go direct. Uh, you got to take some bus connections, which I'm not a fan of. 
uh, and I didn't realize that till I got the ticket but it's been okay I'm not gonna lie it's been all right so far I mean it's obviously a lot more room on the train and you can get up and walk around which is what I like but um, it's it takes a little bit longer unfortunately that's just my route uh, depending on the route you go let me show you guys some local beers here too uh, New Mexico is pretty big on brewery beers as of a lot of places are now but I remember last time I was here they were opening up a shit ton of brewers yeah here we go so there's the Happy Camper IPA, which is from New Mexico. Obviously, if you know what that is, that's the Zia symbol. So I believe the state symbol for New Mexico. And the uh, Marble, I've been there. That My friend brought me there. That's a brewery here. Very cool. I think they're the first brewery here in Albuquerque, if I'm not mistaken. And the ones that make the Happy Camper IPA are from Santa Fe, which is the state capital of New Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. Here's some more. This is a Sadie's. I think that's a restaurant, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think they make actually a salsa, too. So I believe they're a restaurant, but that's another beer. So yeah, pretty cool. Here's another one from Santa Fe Bruin. And uh, this is my friend's favorite beer right here. The Marble Double White IPA. That's from New Mexico, too. She loves that stuff. Probably gonna have to get her a box, or at least it's too late, but I'll get her, I'll give her some money to get a box of this for helping me tonight. So, there's some local beers. Yeah, just give you guys an idea of some local stuff from where I'm at. Just like when I was living in Oklahoma, man, that chicken was good. I know some of y'all joined me for that stream, but man, that was some good shit. Uh, a lot better than it is where I'm from, that's for sure. All right, so we're going to walk out the exit here. So, yeah, I just want to show you guys a little bit about the local foods. We'll see you later, brother. Have a good one. Thank you. Agua frescas are amazing. I love agua frescas, man. Actually, if it wasn't late, fuck. You know what? If it wasn't cold, right now we could get some agua fresca. Um, but it is a little late as far as, you know, being wintertime. Uh, I don't think those uh, taco stands are out, but... I remember the last time I visited, oh man, down here in the South Valley, they're everywhere. They, they, every like mile, there's a taco stand and they all sell tacos y agua frescas. Agua de melon, agua de limon. Oh man, good shit. Good shit. Oh, tamales are very good too. I'm not, a, they're not that I'm not a fan of them. I think I just ate too many of them back in the days. My mom and grandma used to make those a lot, but they're very good. But um, I, whenever I come down here, I like to get Mexican food, and um, the tamales are always on a plate, so I always have them. But um, I, my favorite are the enchiladas, the green enchiladas, as they call them. Enchiladas is how you say it without the Mexican accent. All right, so we're just walking the parking lot. Let's see what else we got. Let's walk over to this Al Sups. See what's going on at the local Al Sups, which is kind of like, I guess, the your local, uh, I guess, if you're in Oklahoma, like a come and go, which I think is a very weird name. Here they call them Al Sups. But, you know, every city's got its own little local gas station name to it. Man, I ain't seen no crazy characters out tonight. Guess everybody's waiting for the Super Bowl tomorrow. It's, it's pretty quiet. I remember last time I visited, well, it was in the summertime. This place was papa locking. Downtown, you know what? Let's see. I, downtowns are always fun. It is Saturday night, so there would be people. But let me tell you this. My friend's a little tired, and I would need her to bring me down there, and that's not going to happen. So 
Uh, but next time I will. That is a good idea. I just wasn't, honestly, I wasn't even planning on staying here as long as I was. But uh, I didn't realize how long my stayover was. So that's why I did a few things. We went to the zoo and went eight right now. But um, I'm afraid, if, I'm, dude, if I get fucking too, yeah. It's, I got two more hours till I got to catch the bus. So if I get too uh, too distracted. Now, the bus is downtown. So if I do still have a battery and I get there and, you know, you guys are interested, I might start the stream. But honestly, I think two streams today is enough, you know. Um, but, uh, hey, you know, it is what it is. You know, I, I work just on how it goes. So you never know. You never know. But yeah, no, I, I will be heading downtown in a few because that's where the bus leaves out of. Um, so we may stream down there because that'll be at 11. That'll be a fun time. I, I, I'll guarantee you if it was like a, 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 excuse me, a warmer night. Oh, for sure. There would be some content. Any downtown's going to have content. But uh, yeah, we might see what we get ourselves into. My friend said over here there's always like fights and shit going on. So I was just kind of curious to explore it. But seems pretty quiet. Like I said, I think, damn, I didn't, it looks like everybody's just getting ready for the Super Bowl, man. SoCal, that, that, uh, I'm going to keep a secret, okay? I have not said if I am or not, so. Yeah, <laughs> blop. <laughs> I do have a, uh, I tell you what, I, I do have a beer at the, at my friend's house, but, uh, no Jaeger, no Jaeger tonight, my friend, but, hey. Uh, I'm always down for a fire sale night. I, I don't drink a lot. I mean, it's been a long time since I really lit one up. But, uh, hey, I'm, I'm down to do a fire sale here every once in a while. If there's something exciting to do, I'm not going to pull a blade and just drink at my house and piss myself. I don't think that's very fun. But, hell yeah, I'm down to do a fire sale and go out and have fun. See, I have a lot of friends. So, hopefully, now that I've been doxxed, and like I said, none of my friends give a shit my family... You probably get to meet a lot of them, and they're really cool fucking characters. Even as old as we are, we're really gnarly people, man. We love life, we love people, we hate bad people, but we love good people, and we love life, man. Well, look it, speaking of, let's go check out the taco truck. There's one down here, see? I told you, you always find one down here in the South Valley. Damn, even as cold as it is, there's one. See, there's La Troca de Taquitos, I believe. I don't have my glasses on, but I see a truck and I see some lights flashing. So go check it out. Go check it out. Is Papa Ski on right now? Is he laying on his couch talking shit? Telling all the whales that uh, I'm a loser and that my wife's gonna leave me after they tell her how much of a piece of shit I am tomorrow. <gasps> oh, yeah, it is a taco truck. See, I told y'all. Real girl, real thugs get down on the flow, on the flow. Buenos tardes. Yeah, this guy doesn't seem like he's too happy. Uh, they do taquitos. See? Yeah. Roll tacos. Cool. Roll tacos in la cup. Man, that looks good. Fuck. I just ate, but I'm not going to lie. That looks really good, dude. Let's go to the park. I know there's a park down here. Let's see if there's any bad folks out right now. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when AJ Quartz comes for you? Dude, blop, I, dude, I can imagine, man, if, I mean, my hometown doesn't have a football team, but dude, if it did, and it was in the World Series, uh, excuse me, not World Series. <laughs> that was a fail. Excuse me. If it, they were in the Super Bowl, dude, I would be going apeshit crazy. Just the fact that they made it, but holy moly, if they win, I hope you party on, my friend. 
let's turn this speaker. Well, at least it does a sound when it shuts off. That's cool. All right, here's the park. Here's the park. Whoa, somebody smashed into that. Smash! Damn, you gotta be fucked up to be smashing all the way in the side of that fence. Oh, Randy, where are you? Just kidding. <laughs> no, but uh, honestly, though, thank you all for everybody that's been participating in the chat, everybody that's been watching. Uh, I've had a blast, man. Like I said, we almost hit $300 in total between Cash App and um, the 98 that we got on the um, Dono Alerts, man. So thank you, guys. That's awesome. Uh, I pretty much have no worries about uh, making the trip, so that's pretty much done. I mean, uh, you know, we still have 300 more to fundraise, but we have plenty of time. Like I said, if we don't even get it there, no problema. We're still going. I'm just as curious as everybody else is, so why shouldn't I have to pay for it, right? Let's see, hold on. Did you meet the goal? I'm just turning in. Not yet, almost there. So, NJ Municipal Courts, thank you for asking. Let me just do a little scout around first. Like I said, always be prepared. Uh, I just don't want to walk and have some fucker behind me that I didn't catch. Let's just be quiet for a second. That's the best way to give you some advice. If you ever just want to tune in and see what's going on, just shut the fuck up and listen to the listen to what's outside. You can hear people breathing, you can hear people walking. I think we're good. I think we're good. Let's travel on. But uh, Mr. Manich uh, excuse me, little bro from another mother, um, we reached half of the dono goal today, which is awesome. Uh, I have the VOD back up, so enjoy, man. We went to the zoo today, got to see some cool animals, man. I was pretty stoked. I started watching it while I was letting my phone, I was watching on my laptop, uh, and I was uh, watch or excuse me, letting my phone uh, excuse me charge before I left again with you guys, and uh, it looked a lot of fun, man. I actually saw more stuff just looking at through the VOD than when I was actually filming. And I had a blast. So thank you all for everybody that joined me on that VOD earlier. That was fun. I hadn't been to the zoo in a while. Now we're just walking. We're just taking a walk around the park. Seeing if there's any bad people around. Getting a little dark over here. Don't worry. Shit's gonna happen. It's gonna happen right here, man. This is the ambush zone right here. No lights. One way in, one way out. Open field left and right, homies. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading the chat. You should secure some interviews. Yes. Oh, absolutely. So let me explain for some of y'all that may not have heard my spiel earlier. So what's going to be a lot different this trip is obviously this is going to be a pretty important hearing just like the other one was, except Randy can't call in and make an excuse that he has COVID. So he has to show up whether he likes it or not. Uh, so that's going to be for sure. Second of all, um, we're going to try to see, since we have a lot of time, obviously, I, I figure they're probably going to schedule it within a month or a month and a half for Monday's day. So that being said, if we have enough time, which we will, um, I've never done it before, but I am going to submit to request a, um, uh, there was a, I guess it's just a request for media or something like that. There's nothing fancy. It's not like a, you know, freedom of information request. It's uh, simply just asking the judge, who is pretty much the only one that can decide on this, and see if they will allow me to either, one, live stream the event, or if at the minimum, record it. 
which you know what if they're even leaning towards letting me do it i know they will because my equipment is nothing near the size of what like a for example like a real uh, you know like a news station setup you know where you probably got two to three people two cameramen you know they got the lights on you know microphone i mean the boom um you know it's just a smartphone and that's it so you know as long as the judge is okay with it i mean as far as just you know the impact i'm gonna have is not gonna be distracting at all i can assure them that so uh honestly i think i have a pretty good fair you know uh request or chance at you know uh getting that permission so we'll see so that'll be something new either way like i said uh we can film in the public area so um, we'll be there to film when randy gets there we'll see if he's willing to give us an interview like last time that we were going and then worst case scenario i mean uh if they for example you know he he loses the case he's found guilty and if they sentence him that same day which i'm pretty 99.9 .9 sure they are um there's a good chance that we're going to see him leave the sally port as they call it or the back area which I am now familiar with. So uh, there I could catch one last attempt of getting an interview with Ski Mask uh, before he goes to jail. So um, yeah, it, it should be, you know, I don't say exciting. Uh, I mean, for all of us that are waiting for this chapter in the end, it is exciting to us. Um, you know, we're, we're, like I said, it's nothing picking on him himself. Not even going to say his name as much as he said mine today. But uh, the, the Ski Mask Andy, the criminal, the three-time... The, the three state fleeing felon, you know, the woman beater, the, the guy who's threatened his girlfriend and his fucking kid, you know, um, that's who we're, we're, we're going after. And when I say going after, I mean that by legally. We're going to make sure that he pays for the crime because this guy's been bouncing around for the last almost seven, eight years just avoiding a bunch of jail time that he owes. And instead of just keeping cool and shutting the fuck up like most people would, this fucking moron keeps getting in more trouble, keeps harassing more people, keeps bullying more people. And now he's using YouTube as his platform to pretty much just bully anybody, you know? Anything that makes him the dinero. And that's it, brother. That's my WWE uh, speech for the night, brother. Oh, it's definitely time up, you know? I'm not going to lie. If it was like a few years ago, I'd probably say, yeah. But that dude is literally, literally backed up to a corner right now. And his only options, he's got to get a fucking axe, which that dude can't even lift the fucking axe, two-handed axe, and just bash the shit out of the wall behind him to get out of that corner. So he's fucked. And he knows it. That's why, honestly... He's such an idiot. I honestly think he's not even going to show up. You know, he's going to, you know, obviously play the, you know, we're not taking the plea. But I have a feeling that piece of shit is not going to show up to his court date, that final court hearing. It's like I said, he knows he's going to jail. The fucking lawyers even told him that. That's why he's begging him to take the plea deal. All right. So, like I said before, and I'm not going to kill it. All this fucker wants is just a few more extra days, a few more extra weeks to smoke his weed, do his little thing on the internet. You know, he doesn't live in reality. I'll tell you what, if I was in his case, I, I wouldn't even be fucking around on the internet right now, you know? Um, I, I mean, I sure won't be sleeping, that's for sure, but that, that guy, for him to be fucking with me and other people right now when he's got a whole lot of trouble going on with himself just shows you what type of moron he is, and I, I have no no sympathy for him at this point you know he's had every chance he's been able to get and he's he's doesn't give a fuck like i said and you know why it's because he lives on this youtube platform you know this little la la land of his where he thinks just because youtube doesn't shut him up that he can go on there and make all these threats bully people bully you know family members i mean i could care less what he does to me but man that shit you did of posting other people's obituaries and uh pictures of your child and other children that's disgusting dude and honestly i think you are a pedophile and uh i don't you know i don't use that word you know loosely you are one my friend and we're gonna find out what that child abuse charge was that's hanging over at wagner county you fuck you want to accuse me of having duis and all this bullshit let's see your receipts 
you know what I got a receipt of though is one that sure says that you have to pay into a uh, what was it child abuse fee fund which is not on any of your other felonies or misdemeanors bucko so either you hurt a kid you did something to a kid or you were around a child when you did something but either way brother you know what you are and that's why you're afraid of fucking jail man you know what they do to guys like you in jail so that's it he's gonna do everything he can to avoid it that's all it is so honestly, this could be an exciting third trip. I mean, shit, we might just even witness this fuck not even showing up. And if he does that, I mean, he's going to be in a world of trouble, I'll tell you that. Because he's going to have four outstanding warrants, and they don't fuck around with that. When you're like that, they send marshals after your ass. And then, like I said, he's going to have the feds indicting him here soon. So they'll even just fuck the marshals. They'll just have the FBI looking for you because FBI is a domestic fucking agency. They have jurisdiction in every part of the U.S., motherfucker. They don't have to have any fucking special permission to fucking, you know, take you out of Tulsa so they can prosecute you in Jersey. Hell no. Just knock on your door. Hands in the pat. How we go? How do we do it, folks? <laughs> I'm so fucking out of it. I can't even remember. Let's see. What's the chat say? Hands in the back. <laughs> So, that's it. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk with you guys. We're still walking around looking for some trouble. I don't think we're going to find any, thankfully. But, uh, you know, just in case there was some bad guy out here, a little ski mask up to no good, we were still going to do justice here in Albuquerque. Justice everywhere, my friend. MJ Courts. That's what's up. Let's see. Let me read some of your chat, too. Risa, that's gonna be my Yep. Hey, let me ask you this: since you work in that field, what what's your what's your view on somebody that works in that field that would, uh, you know, that's obviously probably I'm sure you've seen DV uh, victims come into the hospital. I'm sure, you've seen children abused coming into the hospital. Unfortunately, what's your position about people that do that, like ski math? What what's your position about being a uh, a nurse, somebody in that occupation, and I'm not speaking about you, I'm speaking about the other nurses that uh, worship this piece of shit. I'm just curious, as you yourself a nurse, what's your, out, what's your thinking about other people in your profession that find this guy appealing and uh, a good guy? Kind of funny, huh? I think that's pretty hypocritical, to be honest with you, but I'm not a nurse, so I'm not going to speak on that. It's like a little, like, a, a, what is it, basketball center, I think? A little community center action. All right, we're going to finish our lap here, and then we're going to continue on. I'm going to burn through this battery before I leave, you guys. Let's see. I'm just reading chat. I'm just reading chat, guys. Thank you all for participating. I know we're not got anything too exciting, but like I said got to be better than watching a guy sit on the couch smoking weed talking shit all night but hey to each their own right to each their own da, 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 da. but yeah uh we did make half the goal so thank you all that was awesome um i mean that that's all you know honestly that's what caused him to see then rave today i mean it's funny that that guy you can tell what it like I said before and I'm not gonna beat it in y'all but all that dude cares about is money man that, that guy that that's the whole reason he had this fit tonight which is gonna get him in a lot of trouble just because he didn't make the money well you know what bucko why don't you get your fucking lazy ass off your fucking couch and go work for it huh you said you're the Tulsa King can't even go walk around your own fucking city and fucking IRL like I did are you afraid? Are you afraid to walk around in your own city, Ski? That's what I think really is the truth. Pussy. Dude would be afraid to just have a normal interaction with a human being. Can't even do one of those. Hi, my name is so-and-so. How is yours? What? What'd you say? Did you just call me something? Huh? Yep. 
I'm like a bird, I wanna fly away. I don't wanna na 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 na. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Guys can tell I'm bored as fuck, huh? All right, let me go get it. I'm going to go inside and my friends, we're going to crack a beer right now. And I'll talk and chat with you guys and, you know, we'll call it a night. We've got some questions. You guys want to bullshit? We'll bullshit. You know, if not, no worries. Like I said, I got to be heading out here in a few hours. But till then, let's hang a dang a lang. Got the extended battery in. Got nothing else to do. Got my friends up here. We're having a good time. Y'all hung out with me all day today. So why not tonight, huh? Tomorrow, I don't expect y'all. Tomorrow is Super Bowl, man. I can't wait. I, I love Super Bowls. Um, I'm not. A, I'm not that. I'm not a big football fan. It's just, uh, I, you know, unless it's really my team, I'm not too excited. But uh, it doesn't matter. It's just fun to watch the game, especially when it's a good one. Especially the halftime show, huh? Who's ready for that? Da, 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 da. Let's see, I see some of me say If he threatens you, the good comes up with plan Yeah, well, that's the thing I mean, he's got to know that Like, literally, if I decide just to take those clips to a, a police station He's fucked I mean, they might not go soup him up right then and there But I certainly have every right to start a, you know, complaint And, uh, I mean, the guy was threatening my life So I don't know how serious they'll take that But, uh yeah, if I wanted to be a little narc snitch, and it's not even being a snitch or a narc, just doing the right thing, I could technically do that. And that's what, I don't know. If, I don't know if he realizes that. I mean, I don't know if that's what he was wanting me to do, which would be stupid, but... Uh, and if you guys notice, too, like, right after he went hard on his rave and rant and probably realized who, where my family's from or what they are, uh, and when he shut the fuck up... Um, He's probably not even going to come on anymore, to be honest with you. So this shit's over with tonight. Just had to do a little, you know, four hours of listening to shit. Tomorrow will be, shit. Tomorrow will be another, another person he'll dock. So, that's y'all. Those people that he picks on and doxes, just let it go. You know, it sucks for the first night. I mean, me, it didn't bother me. If anything, it made me more money, made me more donations for our goal, and it made us more subscribers and more promotions. So we'll take that all day long, but... Uh, you know, uh, for most people, it's not cool. They aren't going to do anything. So just let it go for day. Tomorrow, he's going to be picking on tomorrow. So you guys, that's why I didn't want to, you know, like it's funny. And I'm thank you guys for calming me down. You know, the real, the old Emilio wanted to, you know, really fuck with him. But uh, I, I wasn't going to do it. And uh, you guys really were the ones that said, hey, don't don't fall on his level, which, you know, I wasn't. But there was that temptation and you guys knocked it right out of my head. So I appreciate that. I really do. I really do. Because you don't understand. You, you, you realize I, I have his all his personal information. OK, <laughs> so um, I. <sighs> Like I said, I'm not like that because I know exactly what he would have done with my social security number right now. If he's willing to try to dox my family, if he says I have a wife. And what happens if I had a real kid? You already know that picture would have been up there, right? So, damn, man, you're a sick fuck. You know that? I'm glad I don't really have children because you would have put that picture up there too, you sicko. You piece of shit. Oh, man. how What disgusting motherfucker. You know that? My God. That's exactly what he would have done. So all he could do is just post a picture of me finishing a marathon eight years ago. Ooh, Randy. So that's what I'm saying, okay? You know, if I if he had the information that I had of his, like his social, his driver's license number, I even have his fucking fingerprint, okay? I could literally sell that to somebody and fuck his ass up. But I'm not like that. One, nobody's going to buy that shit because he's a piece of shit. I mean, who the fuck's going to steal an ID from somebody that's wanted in three fucking states? It's got the worst fucking credit that you could ever imagine. But they could still fuck with you. But I'm not going to do that. Like I said, I already shredded that piece of paper, you know. Uh, and I did that on purpose because I knew I'd be tempted not to. And I was almost going to. I didn't have it. So I would have been bluffing, but 
Man, oh man, I'm glad you didn't do this yesterday before I did shred it. And I wouldn't have done nothing, but, you know, I would have still fucked with them a bit, I'll tell you that. But I'm not going to go down to his level. What's up, what's up? We got a little party going. Let's go. Let's go join the party train. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me get my beer. There was actually my friend said a guy that lives back here. So uh, maybe he needs a little... See if we can meet up with him. He's a homeless he wants to have a beer with me so i will crack open a beer and if he wants it he can have it but uh, yeah we'll see if we can find him let me grab the beer really quick go inside i'm just gonna uh put you on uh what's it called the camera off thing because i'm going inside my friend's house i doubt she doesn't care but just out of respect but it'll just be a quick second like i said i'm not going to be lagging around in here she does have dogs, so they're probably going to run out. Hey! It's me! Hey, Fred. It's me. All right. Yeah, hold on, guys. Your dogs are going to run out. Yeah, I know. She's got little babies too. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. They know me. You guys know me. You guys know me. All right, guys. I'm sorry. They think I'm going to go fucking play with them. I feel bad. No, like I'm going back outside, guys. I'm sorry. I'll be back later in a bit. We'll play for a bit. All right, friend. I'm going to leave. Uh, I'm just going to hang outside for a bit. I'm going to drink a beer with my friends, and uh, I'll be back inside. Yeah, no, I know. I know. I'm not going to hang out too long. It's almost time. All right. Hold on, let me go inside. Go inside, inside. They're going to follow me everywhere if I don't put them inside. They're cool. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys go inside. Go see your mama. Your mama's calling you. All right, cool. Let me shut the door, and we'll get the camera back on. All right, friend, I'll be back. All right. Excuse me. Get that off. You see? Th- oh, shit. All right, cool. Oh, man, you can barely see. Whoa, I got me a, hold on, you're not going to see this, yeah, we'll go, we'll, she lives next to a, a, this church here, so let's go to where there's some lights here, we'll find, we'll see if we can go explore behind the church and find this guy she's talking about. But damn, there's no lights around here, hold on, I was like, hold on, let me show you what I got in my hand, there's no lights over here either, uh, but there's some lights over here, so let's go over here. Man, it's pretty quiet for a Saturday night around here. Again, I'm not familiar with how popping it is down here, but it is pretty quiet for a Saturday night anywhere. All right, here we got some light. So this is what I got right here. A nice little minchilada Budweiser here. Let me crack this open for a second. I'll sit down and talk with you guys for a bit. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Damn it. Well, now we know this thing's going to explode. Had a nice little rolling start. Ah, all right. All right. Now, that's the church in front of me. It's kind of hard to see, but that's it right there. Yep. Yep. Exactly, just yet. That's why I wasn't worried about anything. Like I said, what, what's, what's Don and Joe going to call my house? Have at it, John and Joe. I don't even have a fucking landline. That was so funny. He's like, I got his number, and I got three emails for him. I'm like, uh, three emails? Jeez, and then somebody's like, yeah, he's probably his AOL. <laughs> Which is not even joking. The dude probably has, like, an AOL account for me. <laughs> yep, yep. I was filming the ground. 
because I just wasn't used to it. But now I think I'm getting a little bit better. What do you guys think? A little bit more of the the instead of the ground, I'm doing a little bit better, showing the in front of me. <laughs> like I said, the, give me my third stream. We'll get it down, okay? Two, I got two strikes. All right. Uh, I got one more chance, and then if I don't do good, you guys can just fuck me and unsubscribe, and I'll be gone. Poof. You'll never see me live stream again. I will clip, though. I will never leave the clipping alone. But uh, I enjoy live streaming. It's pretty fun, man. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Especially when we have something to do, you know? Like I said, right now we're just killing time, having fun. But, I mean, you know, we've got work to do. You know, cheers. Thank you. Thank you, Tammy. Cheers. Very well deserved beer. I appreciate that. I like I said, I'm not much of a drinker, but uh, you know, when you have a good night and a well deserved day, a uh, cold, uh, you guys are gonna fuck with me now, aren't you? <laughs> I know what you're gonna do. <laughs> what type of beer do I have? Is that gonna be the next question? Beer gate. Beer gate. What is this? <laughs> Y'all are too funny, man. That fucking um, soda gate last night. I, you all know, I didn't know what the hell was going on until one. I watched the VOD again, and I was watching it while I was watching uh, Landon live, which was hilarious because I had no clue. And then I'm just watching, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" So then I like, you know, obviously as I'm laughing, I you know, uh, message Landon and everybody, and then that's when he came out with telling me all about it. And I'm like, "You guys are too much, man. That shit was hilarious." That was too funny, fucking Soda Gate. <laughs> IPAs are my favorite. This is just a regular Budweiser, but it is a Chilada, which I do like. The uh, it has the clamato in it and like a lime and salt flavor. So that oh shit, I forgot to shake it. You're supposed to shake these bad boys before you open them, but it's all right. We'll shake it a bit. Shit, it's foaming up. That's why I see. That's why I did not want to shake it. Hold on, hold on. Always be prepared, always be prepared. You always want to do a little, you know, watch your six. You don't want to get so complacent. We don't look behind us. Okay, we're good. We're good. Diet Coke tonight, Jersey. That I can assure you. Definitely nothing diet, boy. Some major calories. But it's okay. We're celebrating. Cheers. Cheers, Ski. Man, I love me a nice cold beer. <laughs> exactly, head on a swivel always, man, for sure. Yep. Oh, it's a yeah. I know, in Nexus. Yep. It's nothing's gonna change. Honestly, I I thought for reals yesterday that mint mama was done. Like I said, it was hilarious. That lady was as soon as they fucked with her, she you know she like I said that lady's like texting or excuse me messaging every like three seconds you know and it was just like poof she was gone man and i for sure a hundred percent was like oh there goes mint mama welcome to the land and refugee program as a matter of fact i told him about it. i said hey dude i think you got a new refugee that's going to be coming in here pretty soon and i was blown away that she came running right back to ski this morning i mean didn't care didn't care that in front of 200 of her own peers slash bots literally got called a kitty peddler and then comes running right back to ski the next day you know <laughs> blows my mind man ryan were you in let's see i sent five on cash app you sent i got a lot i got all your cash apps bud thank you let's see here uh let me turn on the. I may not have the cash. Shit. Hold on. If it's on there, we're going to take care. Oh, man. Transmission aborted. Oh, no. Are you guys still there? One's in the chat if you're there. Oh, me just, Jen. Okay. So. That's all right. I guess it's not doxing myself. So I actually had, um, my MOS was 11 Bravo, but I actually was fortunate to stay stateside uh, right after 9-11 because I was actually sent to, I'm not going to, this I'm not going to disclose, but 
Uh, I was actually pretty much what I did for about three and a half years, which is boring as shit, was guard a nuclear facility somewhere in the United States from terrorists. That was it. Uh, in all reality, it was just a bunch of desert and jackrabbits. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, you know. Um, uh, if I would have gone uh, outside of stateside, I would have been ready for that. My dad served outside. Um, but I served three and a half years just guarding this nuclear base. That's my service. Nothing too exciting, nothing great. Um, just proud that I was able to serve my country, and uh, that's about it, you know. They would ask me to go, uh, you know, um, outside of state. No problema. But unfortunately, I was not, uh, I don't know what you would say, um, kind of, a sh I'm not going to lie, it was pretty shitty <laughs> duty, but hey, it, it is what it is, you know, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> it's funny because we were actually more worried about uh, people that weren't terrorists, again, I don't want to dox my my duty station, but uh, we actually had more worries about other things than terrorists, which was kind of crazy, but... <sighs> Uh, it's a good, uh, good, I don't know, man. What I will say is this, um, I'll speak on this, is, uh, I, I wish we weren't as, um, uh, what is it, uh, the word I'm trying to say, I wish we weren't as, uh, dependent on foreign things as we are, because, uh, man, oh man, if, like, say, for example, the country of China was just to cut us off, like, Walmart items, which most stuff from Walmart comes from, man, us as a country, because we're so dependent on that crap, We'd be screwed, man. Uh, that's why, actually, I prefer a lifestyle of a minimalist. I like to teach myself how to do things, you know. Um, I'm not hardcore, you know. I, I don't hunt for my own meat. Um, I'd like to learn to do that eventually. Um, just because, like I said, I, I, I would pretty much like to learn how to take care of myself and not be dependent on anything. Um, sadly, I, I just want to be prepared. I wouldn't probably think about shit like this 10 years ago if you'd asked me, but... Just the way I've seen a lot of things go, you know, um, who knows what can happen. I mean, it could just, all it takes is just even a natural disaster. Like, look at what Hurricane Katrina did, you know. Um, it, that that knocked out police, you know, rescue. Uh, it was every man for themselves, every woman for themselves. And uh, I think that's a reality a lot of Americans don't realize can happen again. So uh, I try not to be dependent of a lot of foreign items, but I do realize that we are. And um, it doesn't look like we're going to change anytime soon from that. So, yeah, no, think about it. Think about it. The phones, right? How else dependent we are on phones and where they come from? Think about if they stop shipping phones. I mean, they don't even make the iPhone here. It says designed in California, made in China by a little, you know, seven-year-old. But uh, think about that. I mean, you see how some of these streamers are. They'd die if they didn't even have their phone. So China says, hey, no more cell phones, no more iPhones. Shit, man. You know, yeah, that was sad from that earthquake, man. I, I feel bad that that country and area already had so much turmoil with that full fucking ISIS bullshit that they just got over with a few years ago. And man, it gets smacked in the head with the with an earthquake, bro. I'll tell you what, that that's the shit that really pisses me off. You know, when you see people that go through shit like that, and then you have stupid Randy tonight just fucking jerking off on his mom's fucking couch. You know, trying to look like a badass when. You know, there's so much shit going on in this world, man. That's like I said, fuck those motherfuckers. And you know what? Like I said, if I wasn't too concerned about, you know, what he's done, which is bad, I could care less about that motherfucker. But, you know, he's a piece of shit. And until he pays for his time, fuck you. Oh, hell yeah. I'm barely starting to read about that. They said they shot something down. What is it? Are they planes or balloons? I mean, the fact that they can even get a fucking balloon hovering over this close is kind of scary. I mean, shit. I guess they probably, you know, hang under radar. That's probably why they're just finding them once they get really close. But, my gosh, that's kind of weird and kind of sh scary at the same time. All of a sudden, they're like, Chinese balloons everywhere. And, yep. Yep. Hey, man, you don't even have to worry about the balloons. What do you think TikTok is? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not one of them. <laughs> what do you think YouTube Live's doing? <laughs> They're watching us. 
They're watching me watch you watch me. Yeah, you know what's crazy? Um, I don't think a lot of people realize. You all know how close Alaska is to Russia, right? You realize Alaska's like way the fuck out there. I mean, um, you're almost in throwing, like a, you can almost throw a stone from the border of Russia to fucking Alaska. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think we realize that Alaska is probably going to be one of the first territories that if Russia ever invaded or another foreign country, man. Um, that's most likely... Whoa, I see some moving action here in front of me. Hey, yep. Hold on. I don't know if they're coming towards me or if they're going away. Uh, okay, there's a car there. I think it's just one of the church people. It's not that late yet. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Crazy senator lady. You almost got me just, Jen... <laughs> I was like, damn, from Jersey, damn. When I, I don't, I must not know my uh, my geography very well. Then, yeah, I, I've heard about that base. Well, you know, there's a lot of resources in Alaska, so it's kind of an important little piece of land. They're hard to get, but there are a lot of resources under that frozen ground. That's for sure. You guys see lasers from space? Not yet. Now, I'll tell you this. Um, I wasn't much a believer about space stuff, but man, oh man, with all this new shit they're starting to release, and I mean, just the fact that now that I'm older and kind of like realize they're just, I, I don't know, this is my opinion, but um, man, I just can't see us being the only people out in this universe, you know? Um, I mean, maybe we're way, 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 way far away from another race of whatever, but... I just can't see us being the only, you know, not, I don't even say humans, just living creatures that breathe air, you know, um, in this huge universe. Uh, no way, no way, Jose. What's going on? Is my stream acting up, Jersey? Oh. <laughs> yeah, but uh, this is what I love here. See, there's no stars, but seeing in New Mexico... If you don't live in a big city, you can actually uh, come out and look at the sky, man. And it's a shame. I think the clouds are up because, uh, man, this would have been a perfect night to show some of you little city dwellers some stars, man. That's the one thing why I, I you know, I love the city, but, man, do I miss country because you cannot see the stars from the city, man. And it's a whole fucking beautiful universe out there, man. I love stars. That's a shame. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, the clouds are covering them. They're hard to see, but I was like, there's no way we can't. We should be seeing stars like crazy right now. Yeah, there's some clouds above. Oh, I don't know what they would be. I just think there's, you know, I don't know if they're alien. I mean, I, I consider just even like a source of water another thing of life. You know what I mean? I'm talking about just even like an organism on another planet is life. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be a human or anything, but... Uh, there's no way that there's not other little organisms, you know. Uh, there's no way that there's not another planet that has water. I, I just can't believe that. But, you know, like I said, that's my opinion. Are you, you, you live in rural area, hypervigilance? That's cool, man. Especially in the hills, so you know what I'm talking about, man. You know, oh, man, that must be beautiful out there. Just, you know, especially if you come from the city and then you go out there and you see the night and day, man. Like I said, you know, there's some people that they can never even see the stars because of the buildings in front of them. But boy, oh boy, when they're, when they're out there and they're shining bright, it's such a beautiful sight. I'll tell you that. Especially if you realize how much people have used the stars for. I mean, we've been using the stars and, uh, you know, for navigation for thousands of years now, man. It's crazy. You know, the Mayans and a lot of those... Um, uh, civilizations you know um figured out how to map stars and uh you know help them with their harvest time you know figure out when it was time to plant when it was time to harvest so um yeah stars stars are kind of important not as much anymore to people because we got cell phones but you know people used to used to you know follow the north star man that's how people used to to find their direction the ocean or land 
I used to live 20 miles south of Grand Canyon. Oh, cool, man. Yeah, I bet you you see some beautiful shit out there. I, You know what's funny is I've never been out there yet, Bay Surfer, the Grand Canyon. Um, definitely on my bucket list. Especially when I come this close to the southwest, it pisses me off that. It's like, man, just like a few more hours this way I could be there, but... One of these days, definitely on the bucket list. Definitely on the bucket list. Um, what else is on the bucket list? Let's see. Uh, I'd still like to go to see the Redwoods in California. I've never been there. Um, and Mount Rushmore. Never been to Mount Rushmore. So I, I've got a couple of little things I need to do. I need to do those here pretty soon, man. Because I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good stargazing in Nevada and Colorado and, like, the Utah area. You've heard of, like, Skywalker Ranch, right? That's in Utah. And that's where they supposedly have a lot of, like, interesting little supernatural things happen is the, the Skywalker Ranch. I watched that on uh, on Netflix. <laughs> Dude, they must be huge. You've been there, Jen? I could just imagine. I trip out just on a big-ass tree. Could you imagine a fucking tree that circumference is like the size of a house? That's what I trip out on about Cali, man, is the snow. You know, I think everybody always thinks of SoCal and doesn't realize that California has some really beautiful mountains and really beautiful northern area, man. And uh, yeah, that's that's so that trips me out when I when I heard about that, you know, I was like, they they, they ski in California. Yeah, me too. Based, I love San Diego. I know I said that before, but man, I love it. I met the one of the most beautifulest women I've been with in San Diego. And I should have married her, but I didn't. <laughs> no, let's see. You can surf and snowboard. Dude, that's dope. That's insane, man. That would be so cool. I, I don't do either. I ski. But, dude, if I was a surfer snowboarder, I mean, holy moly, that would be like the sickest place to go then. Morning, you're fucking surfing and then heading out to the fucking ski resort. <laughs> or vice versa <laughs> man made okay hey you know what as long as there's snow hey you know it's fun I'm sure if you're like an experienced person you know you like the powder and shit but hey fuck it man snow is snow damn damn well, what's his name's been going? Uh, is that maybe I'm wrong? But hasn't um um what's his name? Strokoff been going to um he's been out snowboarding these last weeks. Whenever I watch him, he's out there. So I um, mean, he's out in Cali. So I think he's out in Big Bear, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, that was pretty interesting to see him IRL out there. That was kind of cool. Went to Big Bear, me and a friend went fishing at Big Bear Lake. Red pontoon. Oh, cool. So it must be a pretty big lake then if they obviously allow pontoon boats. Man, that sounds like a lot of fun. I've heard of Big Bear, but I have not been. Let's do my little check here. I kind of got a little too distracted, man. I said people will sneak up on your ass. That's why you always got to be a little vigilant. But we're chilling. We're chilling. We're having a good time. It's getting a little nippy, I'm not gonna lie now. Woo! I think it's this little this cold beer and the cold that weather out there is is mixing in. <laughs> Jen, you've been kind of everywhere, dude. I always forget that you start out in Cali. How long were you in Cali for? Because you went to Cali, then what? Cali to Vegas, Vegas to Oakland, then Oakland to New Jersey, but I, I always forget that you were in, you know, obviously I remember when you were out in Cali, that's where I saw you on the streams with ice in them, but um, I always forget that you were out there for a while. Is he pulling up behind me? 
How do you get to? How do you get here so quick, Caesar? No way. Did one of his fucking lady friends just fly? She just picked him up in a jet and brought him here. Oh shit! All right, we better move, guys. Hold on, I'm moving. They said ski mask is behind me. Fuck. That's what I was afraid of. I, you know, I know he ain't got much pool, but I figure one of those whales probably's got to be rich enough where they could rent them like a private jet or something. So he just flew in and he's on his way to to the church. All right, I'm moving. I'm moving. Oh shit. He's probably pissed off, so yeah, we better move. Oh shit. Although I have a feeling if he stepped onto the uh, pavement of this church, he would probably disappear in smoke. All right, let's walk over to my friends. It's not too far. Oh my God, it's getting cold. This beer got me all fucking cold. Woo! Holy shit. Man, if I wasn't leaving here soon, I would totally fucking ask my friend if I could build a bonfire right now. That would be so cool right now. Be perfect right now. All right, let me cam down. I'm just going to cam down for a second until I get in the guest room really quick, and then I'll come back up. Give me one second. Even though... You Your dogs are gonna come flying out again. So sorry if it gets a little loud, but they're just doing their job. It's me, friend. Oh, I know, I know, I know. She's got a little one too, like me, and of course her little ones love like mine too. Get back, guys. Get back. Back, 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 Friend, you want me to shut your other door? You gonna leave tonight or what? Well, I still gotta go. You gotta give me a ride, dude. Oh, I'll I'll call an Uber, dude. It's not... Yeah, don't worry about it. It's already late. All right, so I'm gonna leave the gate open then. Okay. Cool. Yeah, no, no worries, dude. You already were helpful enough. I'll take, I'm gonna just, uh, Uber is fine. I just gotta call them early because they take a little bit. Whoa! Hold on, guys. Let me just shut my, I'm here in the little guest room. Let me just shut the door because I know I'm being too loud and I don't wanna disturb her. All my junk is over here. Sorry, guys. I'm just moving out of your way. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, shit. Alright, let me shut this door and we're good. We're good in the hood. Whoa! I forgot that my battery cable was connected to me. Battery cable's connected to the knee bone. The knee bone's connected to the... Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry if you guys know I like to sing to myself a bit. I'm killing time. All right. Let me just get all my junk in my room. That way I don't have to... Come out here and disturb my friend too much because we're going to leave in a few hours or an hour and a half. What time is it? Oh, cool. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Not too far away from the, the downtown area too from here. Still ways, but not far. Not far. All right, cool. Let me come up. Oh, man. I'm just going to bring my laptop too. That way we can also peek to see what the rest of everybody's doing on the tubes? Yes. Mario. Okay. All right. 
Oh shit. this up. I'm just going to put you guys on the stand. That way I don't have to hold this stupid selfie stick all day long. Let's put this camera on. Alright, you guys can kind of see. Oops. Flip it to me. There we go. Hello. Oh, I got it right in my face. Hold on. Let's put this stand right here. Let's put this stand on here. Sorry, it's a little dark in here. But I don't want to put all the lights on because I don't want this house to look like it's Christmas today. When everybody's kind of already chilling. Alright. Alright, are we good? You guys can see me a bit. Let me put this here. Oh! Stand, man, come on. Okay, there we go. Okay. This little selfie stand. Hey, I'm not going to complain. For six bucks, this little bad boy got me through the day today. So, little selfie stick, you did okay. You did all right. All right, cool. Now I can read questions. This is what I like. This is what I like. Let me put my take my battery out of my pocket so that way if I stand up, I don't take my phone with me. I got a really nice power bank on sale today for like 15 bucks. If anybody's interested in one, they got them on sale at the uh, Office Max. And man, it's nice. Oh, let me show you. I've never had one of these before. Whoa, shit. That's what I was trying. Come on, man. It's not even up that high. Yeah, it's like that's soft carpet. So it's okay. There we go. I just lowered it. But uh, yeah, check it out. It's an Energizer one. It's not that bad. It's pretty thin. 15 bucks. It's uh, supposed to charge your phone up for quite a bit of time. But yeah, man, these things are like money. I don't know. If you go streaming, you got to have one of these. I mean, I was surprised that even at the zoo, I mean, I, I did. I mean, we had, you know, about two, three hours, but um, it was like it drained it all. I mean, when I left there, the energy power bank was drained and so was my phone. So <laughs> Uh, I, I guess streaming does really drain the shit out of your phone, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, there's, dude, if I didn't have this thing, I would have lasted like 30 minutes and that stream would have been done. So I'm glad I picked me one of these up today. But yeah, not a bad deal. Um, Office Depot, 15 bucks. It's an Energizer one, you know, pretty good, good, good brand. It's not one of those little hone or whatever, the Wally Wally World ones, nothing against those, but, you know, those things, I mean, they, they'll last for like maybe six months and they're done, you know? I don't know how long this one will last. We'll see. But uh, I would hope since it seemed like a better brand, uh, it'll last a little bit better. So, But again, it's just made in China. So, <laughs> oh, China, oh, China, how we depend on all your stuff. Hold on, her dog's trying to, hold on, lay down, lay down. You're going to knock my phone off. He's like, who are you and why are you here? It's okay. I built the snowman outside the Dean's. Is You see you have snow right now, Nexus, where you're at? That's what I trip out. Well, you know, right now there's no snow over here, but of course there's still snow up in the East Coast, depending on where you're at. Yeah, no, it's, uh, let's see here. Oh, okay, okay. I was like, cool. I haven't built a snowman in a grip. In H-Town, uh-oh, you better watch out. You know, uh, old Randy, that's his old stomping ground. <laughs> Just messing with you. H-Town. Surprised he don't have any of those H-Town stars all over his neck, right? Ain't that what they do, those gangsters down in Houston? They do little Houston Astros or whatever, the stars. <laughs> Yeah, going over I-40, I'll tell you what. Um, so last week when we came over here, like I said, I was lucky to catch all the transfers, man. I had to take three fucking transfers, man. And every single one of them, when it was about to come up to him, all the same thing, Buster, I was like, oh, we're coming up, it's already late, we can't assure. And I, I, I was like, oh, man, I'm fucked. And I don't know, it, it must have been 
karma, you know, because I made it. Because, I mean, holy moly, three transfers and everybody late except my transfers. And uh, one of them is when, especially when we go back, you got to go over that whole pass. And it does get icy. And that that's what I think screws up a lot of the the southwest transfers on the bus is, is the snow in this area. Or that pass on I-40. You know, anything that gets... I-40 goes east to west. So if there's any snow on that, anywhere on that, it's going to fuck with all the buses. And it fucks with them bad, man. That's why I think I'd rather fly. But, hey, it's more expensive. We don't got to do it. Like I said, I love... I, I mean, I had fun on the train this time because there's more room. But, uh, you know, it's cool. You get to just chill, you know, play around with the laptop. You know, I got a lot of shit done that I wanted to do, like clipping and stuff. And I had time to put out that little video, you know, just making fun of the uh, the soda gate this morning. So, yeah, you know, I, I, enjoy, I enjoy clipping and it's fun. But, uh... uh you know it. Uh... Hey, hey, get back! He's. No, I'm sorry. This, this, her, her dogs are hilarious. I'm playing with them at the same time. I'm trying to mess with you guys. But uh, yeah, no, I was. Uh, I, you know, like going back. I don't care too much about the transfers. I did have to be at work at a certain time, you know. But I still had plenty of time to get there. But yeah, coming is where I was like, dude. I, I seriously didn't think it was gonna happen. You know, even with the tickets and everything, I'm like, oh, I didn't realize that. I didn't. I totally forgot how. You know, me transfers bus has and how fucked up they can be. Otherwise, honestly, if I would have known I would have ran into all those obstacles, I probably would have just, you know, bought a plane ticket um, just to avoid that. But, hey, we got there. So that's all I can say, you know. And if I go there doing the bus again, like this time, trust me, for that hearing, I'm going to leave like three days prior. There ain't going to be no motherfucking, you know, getting there hopefully, you know, two days, you know, or a day before because... Like I said, I know how the bus is, and I'm not going to miss that trial. So I promise you that we'll leave like two days before the trial. I don't care if I get there early and spend two days at the hotel, you know, whatever. Um, as long as I get, you know, the shot that we want and, and get the uh, the interview if we can. You know, that's all I care about. So, hey, Bubs, go, go lay down. Go lay down. Lay down right here. He's off. I don't think he's used to the camera. That's why he's like, oh, what's this? No, 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 no. Lay down, lay down. You're good. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, that the ice can really fuck you up, man. I can't. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm not much of a winter person, although it gets wintery and cold as shit where I'm at right now. But boy, do I miss the, the summer. I love the summer. That's my favorite time of the year. I'd rather be hot than cold. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Bikeathons, a 50 miler, nice. Have you ever done a century, right? Century's 100, if I'm not mistaken. 50 miles is a lot. I don't think I personally, let's see, I think, see, I, I cycle just for um, my Ironmans, but I think at the most I've done was, let's see, uh, 13, or I guess like a half marathon, which was like 13.2 miles on the bike, so, um, which was still tough for me. It's not a lot of miles for a lot of bicyclists, but I don't bike, so uh, it was tough for me. I'm a runner, and I like to swim, so those are my strongest parts. But cycling is not what I do, so I always am a little slow on that part of the event. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, I, I, I envy you. 50 miles is a lot. Trust me, I only did 13.2 on a bike, and it was tiring. So, Okay, I see. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. They do one, I think, was this year you're saying? Because I know my friend, she does cycling a lot. She does one um, during, I think, the Halloween. Angela, when's, when do you go do your bison thing? I don't think she can hear me. Yeah, I think it's pretty, she dresses up for it for Halloween. So that's what I was asking. I think they do something here once a year where they all dress up for Halloween and go on those huge, like, I couldn't do it. I mean, could you imagine being dressed up in a costume and trying to bicycle, especially, like, 25, 50 miles? <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Okay, let me see. I just want to make sure I got everything going down. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, well, thank you, guys. I appreciate everybody that came in. And, and thank you guys that had my back today, man. That was a trip. It was funny. Like I said, I know a lot of you guys were all, like, hitting me up and I didn't care. Like I said, when you don't have anything to hide, man, it's doxing doesn't do anything to you. You know, uh, for Randy, he doesn't know that. Like I said, he he probably thought he got. Me. But oh hell no, there's nothing to hide. Like I said, no shit. 
My, my friends and family, if they ever got docs, they'd think that shit was hilarious, man. It's not hilarious to other people, but for, like I said, a family that we, we're done. We've all lived our lives. We, we live good lives now. You know, we don't give a shit. Like I said, Randy, don't fuck with us, man. That's all I got to tell you because uh, <laughs> it's not going to be good for you. It already isn't, but, man, I'm telling you, just fuck with me, okay? You can fuck with me, but uh, don't, don't fuck with Mama B because she'll, she'll, she'll fuck you up, dude. I'm not going to lie. Let's see. Cycling in costumes. Yeah, that's insane. I don't know how people do that. <laughs> I've seen uh, people run marathons in costumes. Uh, that's pretty insane too, man. I, I can barely finish. Like I said, I'm, uh, you know, back in my days, I might be able to barely finish a marathon all running, but usually I will be done at about mile 22. That's when my legs give up. So mile 22 to 26, four, or excuse me, 26.2, that's 4.2 miles. It just, like I said, Little, I do like a little skippy do walk, run, legs crank, skippy do run, walk, legs cramp, skippy do, and it sucks. I hate the last four miles because they take so long, but um, yeah, I could never run any faster than that. Like I said, it, it, there were things I enjoyed, but I was never like, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, I'm a marathon runner. I've done that. That, that was for fun. I did a lot of them. Don't get me wrong. I will finish marathons and I love them, but I am not a competitor. I am not fast at them. I don't you know, call myself anything other than just a participant. That is it. Yeah, I like doing ultras. Those are my favorite. I like really pushing your body. To be honest, I think those are harder. Even though you're not running all 50 miles, I mean, there are some that can. Um, I, I think you push your body a lot more. Uh, it's just my personal uh, taste. But uh, ultras are my favorite, man. I love like 50, 100 miles, you know. Um, it's just because, like I said, it's a shit show, you know. <laughs> it's a total shit show. When you finish one of those, your body is so fucked. One, you don't even have any fucking, your your toenails are gone, okay? Your fucking armpits and nipples are shaped to shit. You lose your nipples. Your nipples are gone. And, uh, I mean, you're in pain. You can't even walk right for like a week, week and a half, at least me, so. But, man, oh, man, when you finish them, you, it's, it's a, uh, it's, it's quite a bit of a, of an ego boost. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite a bit of an accomplishment to say, shit, man, I did like, you know, 60, 100 miles, 50, 50. I haven't, I did one 100 mile ultra. Never will I do that again. Um, honestly, I, I, that thing took forever. I probably was one of the last people to cross the line. I'll never do that. But I like the 50 milers. Those are cool. Uh, those usually you can finish in about a full day. They, for me, they're long, but, uh, you know, I can usually finish them in a full day. But, uh, yeah, at my age, I, I won't do anything more than a 50 miler, and that's very rare. Very rare occasion now. But I have, I have done them. Yep. Oh, of course he'll be in PC. Like I said, where the dude, honestly, I don't even think that guy's even been in fucking, um, what is it, the, the, uh, the regular, the public, or excuse me, Gen Pop. Uh, like I said, he hasn't been in jail a lot. I mean, he has, but he hasn't spent a lot of time there. Like I said, he acts more institutionalized than what he really is. But, uh, yeah, for a, probably like, I think he's been there three times total. Um, you know, carrying, when I say three times, I mean three times with, like, you know, a sentence that's more than three months or four months, you know, where he's there for a bit. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I never visit him. I don't know, you know, what the dude does, what he cares for. But, yeah, he's definitely going to be in PC. They're not going to put that motherfucker in fucking the public, in fucking Gen Pop, like I said. And not only are his tattoos incriminating and get his ass kicked, just his attitude is, okay? You think that? Fuck, no. Like I said, that guy lives in a la la land, okay? Those guys in Gen Pop, they, they don't fuck around. You know, they don't have nothing to live for, nothing to lose. They don't give a shit, you know? They're, they're not doing it for the tubes or this or that. You know, it's gang life or prison life. That's all they know, you know? That's it, so. And he ain't one of those, I'll tell you that. He fears jail. He fears it. I mean... You've seen all the attempts he's done just to get out of it. And if he can't, he, he flees, you know, until they catch him. That's the thing. When they catch him, he's fucked. He's, and he's easy to catch because he's always on his fucking YouTube. But, you know, there's a million people in this country and probably a handful of those investigators. You know, they're doing the best they can. And when they get to old Randall's turn on the, you know, paperwork, then, hey, there's the records. You know, it's not, hey, go back and check them out. Nope. We got it all recorded, all sent. So all it's going to take is just somebody going click, click, clack, and boom. You know, click clack. I'm not sure. I'm actually going to be busy. So, uh,
but I might have to say go Eagles. Shit, sorry, I'm just kidding. Especially when you're a, a, a Redskins fan. <laughs> but uh, hey, you know, that's cool, man. I, I, I'm happy for Philly. You know, I'll have to say, I mean, if I'm going to root for a team, I guess it would be them. But uh, yeah, 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 no, tomorrow's going to be fun. Um, I'm going to be on the road quite a bit, but hey. I got my, my phone. I can check out the game and everything. So I'm looking forward to just relaxing and having a good trip and getting ready for Monday, Monday, Monday. But uh, anyways, so. All right, y'all. Well, let's see here. 10.06. Okay, I got a few little minutes. Let me get my beer really quick. Hold on. I wanted to finish my beer with you guys, and then I'm going to end the stream because I got to get ready to head out here pretty soon. But I can finish my beer with y'all at least. I ain't going to be rude. Hold on, let me go grab it. Oh, I thought I brought it with me, man. Damn it, I don't want to be rude because then I'm going to have to open all the doors again and go outside. Hold on. Oh, shit. I put it over here. I knew I brought it with me. I was like, I know I thought I brought it in here. Yeah, it looks like we got a lot of Eagles fans in here, huh? <laughs> well, we'll see what happens, that's for sure. So I don't think he's going to have another chance to call in sick this time, so... Uh, he's either got to show and take the plea, show and not take the plea, or he's not going to show because I'm there, uh, which that's crazy. Don't be... Like I said, I told you last time not to do it, and you did it, so... You know, there's only so much I can, you know... You're on your own narrative, but I'm telling you, man, do not fucking not show up because, like I said, I'm there just as a, you know, just as a member of the public, man. Uh, uh, you know, as a matter of fact, Ski, this last time, I wasn't even going to sit in the front to mess with you, man. I was going to sit in the hallway in the back, man, you know, just so you weren't fucking around or looking, you know, doing this shit. But, I mean, dude, I don't even think that's going to make a difference, to be honest with you, so... But I do know that you got to be there regardless of what goes on, bucko. So that's it. But the mo like I said, the one that we fundraised for today that we almost were halfway there, that's for the, the real trial. That's for the jury trial. Assuming he goes, like I said, he might take that plea tomorrow. We don't know. But I doubt he is. You know, if he, that was the case, that dude would already been fucking crying tonight for Cash App, so... Uh, oh god that was disgusting excuse me i didn't mean to burp in front of your guys face but holla if you want to donna joe's and say i'm disgusting because i did that uh, no i'm just kidding but uh yeah i heard of that norcal that's cool man yeah um but hold on he is scared you will film his ball head well dude look it how is he afraid i'm short like him i'm bald like him i mean how can i be intimidating he tell he, dude he's on his channel call me short fat, a wuss, all these names, but he's yet, why didn't he show up? I mean, that's crazy. I mean, dude, the dude films himself. I don't know what he's hiding. Like, I could understand, like, if he was always behind the black screen, right? So, like, you know, he's got some just fugly-ass face or something going on that we just, we've never seen, you know, and that's what he doesn't want to see. But we've seen his fucking headline like mine. We, we know he's going bald. All right, we've seen his little fucking hoodies that he wears three days, four days in a row. I mean, I real, I really don't understand what he's so afraid of, other than just the fact that he knows he's going to jail if he goes, you know. But last time he wasn't going to go to jail, just had to show up. So, you know, for somebody to open their mouth and talk like, you know, I was afraid. Mm, I don't think so, buddy. I, I showed up. I was there. You weren't. You're the one that made up the lie the last minute. And like I said, you can't do that this time, so... There's no ifs, ands, or buts. All you can do is just scurry your ass in as quick as you can in the courthouse. And Bucko, ju judging by the last line, honestly, you want to know what's funny? Y'all, there's a huge line every time they're going in that jail. And just in ski fashion, I can imagine he's going to roll up at least like 20 till, right? Think he's just going to park his shit and run right in? Hell no. You can't even find parking, one, down there. And two, I asked the ladies because they, they, I said, I said, I didn't think they had, uh, you know, the, the virtuals today. And she goes, no, they don't. They said, you know, uh, I forgot the exact days, but they said, you know, that was a busy day. 
And I don't know how he doesn't know that. He's been in jail several times he should have. But let me tell you this. If he had not given him that lie, he would not have made it to court. Not even close. That dude would have been still waiting outside, freezing his fucking cojones off while they were calling his name. So, yeah, he's going to come on here in a bit. I'm too tired to even try to fuck with him because I'm fucking tired. I don't even want to respond after that. I had a long day today. Uh, bus ride's going to be long. And then I got to jump back on the train. And then, you know, I'll, tomorrow afternoon I'll be able to chill and I'll say hi. But, uh, you know, and it's football. So I don't expect anybody even to come on stream, you know. So, um, yeah, we'll just, just got to wait till Monday, folks. That's pretty much it. That's all we can do. That's the next move, you know. And uh, like I said, he's got three options. Um, I don't think he's not going to, you know, leave. But uh, who knows, man. That, that guy is so amped up and so on cloud nine right now with his little chica mama crazies that... All it takes is just one of them saying, hey, Ski, you can stay over, even though it's a lie. You know, no, we know none of those ladies would even ever let them walk in their door. But uh, all it takes is just one of them inviting him to here, and that's just an excuse to come over this side, that side. And that's the last thing that guy needs to be doing. He needs to take care of himself, his fucking family, and his shit first before he starts worrying about what other people think about him. So that's my two cents. That's it. Imagine Ski having a crush on the chick in my... <laughs> What I think is funny is the guy talks about my channel every fucking day. Could you imagine that? I'm not even a big channel, bro. I'm like a small channel. And every fucking day, when you wake up, New Jersey courts. When you go to bed, New Jersey courts. While you're sleeping, you're fucking probably saying my name in your dreams because I'm watching your fucking chat log and it's just New Jersey courts, New Jersey courts. So, dude, you're just self-promoting yourself to my audience. And like I said, I don't know what you're doing as far as harm thinking you know, every time you say my name or whatever, it's fucking me up because it's making you look bad. And like I said, man, you're the one that got fucked over today, my friend. He's seething and turning. Oh, yeah, and he shouldn't. I don't know why. He's got his ladies. He made his money. Move on. The fuck are you seething about me, bro? I'm nothing. Like I said, I'm a small channel. You know, he's got about 200 viewers. We got almost close to 50. We're not even close, man. Move the fuck on. I honestly don't know why he's so infatuated with my name, the channel's name, and this channel. No, you know, I know we had some clips on him, but man, we've stopped for the last two weeks. I've been busy live streaming, and this guy, I mean, it's just, like I said, it, it's not business with him. It's personal. That's what, he's so mad because he thinks that we're taking money off of his plate. That's all he cares about. That's all he compares it to, and that's all he wants to be able to bitch about, you know? And it's not true, okay? The people that donated today probably don't even watch your fucking ass, okay? So why would you even think that they're going to donate to you if you were to have done something cool and, you know, I just got it because I was lucky? Absolutely not. These are viewers that said, hey, we thank you for what you're doing, and hey, here's this donation so that we can make it to the next trial, and you show us how it goes, Emilio, and that's it, you know? So, uh-oh. 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 That's me, right, Ski? Yeah, shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, so anyways, I think... Yo, he's starting to look like he does. Well, he likes guys, so I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. You know what I mean? I know my pictures from eight years ago were pretty sexy, so... Oh, now it's in his album. What a sick fuck. You sicko. Erase my pictures from your shit, dude. I don't want you fucking having like 20 of my pictures in your fucking photo album, you... Gross fucker. Oh, people are going to think we're going out if they find your phone, too. They're going to be like, who's all these pictures of this guy in your phone, Mr. Ski Mask? Oh, race my shit, dude. Damn it. I didn't even think about that. Like I said, I have nothing wrong if you want to swing that way, but I don't swing that way, so... And I don't have a crush on you, Ski Mask, and I don't have pictures of you in my... I, I might have, like, three of them that I use the same ones, if you notice, when I clip... But that's about it, bro. And those are saved on, like, a hard drive. They're not even on my fucking phone, dude. The fact that you have little kitty pictures, you have, like, pictures of women that you don't even know who they are, and then you have my pictures all over your phone now? Ew, gross, you're a weirdo. <laughs> Amber, that's disgusting. Let's not go there. Because after I read those messages he sent to Gish, I wouldn't doubt it. That shit ain't fucking joking. You know, he's lucky I'm just tired and being nice, man, but... We'll hit on that tomorrow or another day, but I don't know if y'all noticed that or saw Landon's chat today, but oh boy, oh boy, did old Ski Mask Randy get exposed today. <sighs> they got some nice receipts over there, I'll tell you that. Real receipts there, Randy. Probably receipts you think weren't going to come out, man. And not only do they make you look like a little... <laughs> the stuff you say is pretty gnarly, man. 
You say some pretty disgusting shit for a guy like you. You're weird, dude. You you are the weird one. You like calling people weird? You're weird. I'm not the one that has fucking little kids pictures on my phone. All right? You do. Okay? You have a lot of them, too, man. You got them, like, right up on there, man. I could be like, hey, man, show us uh, Controller's daughter. Boom. Right there. Hey, show us Skelly's family. Boom. Dude, that's gross, man. You're fucking sick. You're disgusting, Ski. Now that I think about it, bro, that's disgusting that your fucking phone memory is full of a bunch of random strangers fucking kitty pics, bro. You fucking little kitty piddler. And there you are trying to, like, talk shit to people. You need to check yourself, bro. You're men not only you're mentally ill, you're sick. You are fucking sick. Where is the info at about Ski? At? Oh, shit, you didn't see it? Landon posted it. It's probably, go, he has his VOD up. Go check it out. Shout out Landon. Oh, yeah, it was awesome, man. Oh, you should see it. These are real messages. Ain't no mistake about that. You can even tell by the way his stupid little fucking vocabulary is that it's him. Absolutely, it's him. And that's why he totally, like, changed the subject about me. He was what? So this is what happened, right? Because, you know, ski is ski. You know, he goes on this little attack, this doxing attack, okay, on me. All right, little does he know, everybody's clipping him, watching him, which is what's going on in Landon's channel. All right, so there's ski. Da -da 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 well, while ski was doing that, Landon was getting a bunch of receipts from different people about old ski week, okay? And at the same time, little Skiwi's also spying and checking out Landon's channel. So it's hilarious because as those receipts were popping up, I don't think Ski realized them. And you can see him like read, you know, he's like, oh, what's Landon? And then like he shuts it off, you know, because it was funny. Same thing when Landon was trying to get on the panel. Ski was on purposely muting it down like, and you know, and then it's so stupid. He's trying to tell his audience like, you know, it's it's Landon's mic. Everybody knows what you're doing, dude. It's not even funny anymore. On a, as a matter of fact, your audience probably wanted to listen to him. You didn't want him to hear it because he was going to expose you for being gay. Not a big deal, man. Everybody already knew, but they got the receipts. Like, I that's that's not... I'm not even trolling. I'm not doing this kid. Ski Mask is gay. He is 100% gay. He admitted it. There's letters telling it, uh, talking about it. Uh, he is not even interested in women at this time. He is very much interested in men, which kind of makes sense for the way he's been acting. You know, he's been acting up on women a lot. So maybe he's just got a hate for him because, you know, he's, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the last per I don't know. Must have had a bad experience with a woman or something. But, hey, don't take it out on them. If you're gay, you're gay. And leave them alone. Go on with your life, man. Yeah, no, check it out, please. If you think I'm talking bullshit, and so he's going to tell all his, you know, oh, he's lying, this, that they're still going to go. That's what's funny is he actually had, I don't, between him and I don't even know how many of his uh, his little followers, they were in Landon's chat. They were telling him what he was posting. That's what was hilarious. Landon was trolling him from his own fucking chat, dude. It was hilarious. And that was one of the things. We got you to literally admit that you are a little kitty peddler faggot. And... Ooh, I hate to say that word, but that's what you are. That's the word you use, man. And that's the bad word you use, man. And I'm sorry for that because he does say that to a lot of people. But he's gay. Nothing wrong with it, man. Nothing wrong with it. He is a deadbeat, but uh, he's a gay deadbeat. Like I said, nothing wrong with being gay at all. But I just hate how he doesn't admit it. And worst of all, he talks shit about people that are gay when he's a fucking closet homosexual. You know, that's the worst. That's the worst. That's what I hate. It's when you're a hypocrite and you talk bad about people when you are one. You are what you are, you know. Um, and just like I said, how you all, you, if you ladies are some of your his old people, you've seen him. He'll literally go off and call him the B word, bad word. Then he later, you know, as soon as he realizes, you know, he, he, he caught himself in the real ski character. That's when he's like, oh, I'm sorry, ladies. I didn't mean that. I saw that all day today. Like I said, man, I, that dude... It's amazing those women run back to me. It's just a handful now, but uh, man, dude, I don't know what's what they're thinking. Like I said, I think I do, but we're not going to divulge into that anymore. We're not going to talk about him. Like I said, he's down to his last five little mods, and he's done. You know, uh, every he had a lot of people jump shit today uh, just after he was doxing me. You know, that's uh, he he was pissing off a lot of vets. I saw that 
in there and a lot of people that, you know, they don't think, they might thought his other shit was funny, but they don't put up with shit like that. And you can tell they left, you know, and that's why he's pissed. He's very pissed about that because that's dinero. He doesn't care about them. He cares about the dinero. Yeah, he's hit pretty much every girl that he's been with. He even hit Gucci's. He doesn't even know Gucci's. That's not even his girlfriend. He is a woman beater. He is literally the definition, excuse me, the definition of a woman beater. I'm not kidding you. If you fucking open the dictionary, they literally should post a picture of him next to that definition because he is to 100%. He's got the history of it. He just did it to his mom. He's, you know, his ex-girlfriend. He's got the receipts that he's done it and horrible ones, man. I mean, dude, this dude is a piece of shit. Trust me, you guys haven't seen shit. I'm glad that Gish fucking dropped those, exposed those messages. But trust me, this guy, he's hes done a lot. He said a lot of bad stuff to people, man. And if he's worried just about that exposure, he's in for it all. There, Trust me, there's going to be some more news dropping this week, and it's, it's just going to be worse for him, man. There ain't no coming around that, okay? I'm sorry, you might both think I'm bullshit, but if you got three people showing you the same fucking file, you got it in a fucking court-ordered form, th there ain't no bullshit about that. That's real truth. So y'all can say I'm bullshitting, but wait till you see the papers, the receipts, like you say. And uh, you're, you're not going to be shocked. I'm sure you already know what type of piece of shit he is. You just were wanting to see the, the, the proof, and we will bring it to you, okay? Even though you shouldn't need it, I understand some of you... Do you want it? And we'll bring it to you. So, And from there, you can make your decision. But I'm telling you, uh, you know, it, th this guy's like a one-pump chump, okay? You might be his friend for like a week, and that's it. That's it. He will dox you. He will fuck you over. The minute you stop paying him, it's over. That's how he works. But to each their own, right? To each their own. Yeah, that's why he has that OnlyFans probably. He just, all you, you guys understand, all he wants is people's information because he uses it against them when shit hits the fan, okay? He's not stupid. Let me tell you something, okay? He did it straight to that nurse girl, and I'm not going to bring her up again because I don't want to get her doxxed, but he let that lady dox herself. And see, I've seen him. He knows better. If he really cared, he would have told her right away, hey, yo, you shouldn't be inside your fucking workplace. We can see the sign around you, and you got your fucking work jacket with your fucking symbol right there of where you work, okay? He didn't even mention that. I was like, what? Because he's usually pretty quick to tell his other little, you know, mods and broads about that shit, but not her. So I don't know if that was done intentionally or what, but boy, oh boy, was that fucked up. You let that your own guest just pretty much dox yourself on fucking a camera with 300 wackos watching. And like I said, he knew, he knew. Trust me, if that was somebody he cared about or himself... He would have said something right away like, oh, whoa, oh, don't do that. You know, no, no. He let this lady go on for 10 minutes rambling inside of a fucking hospital lobby room with the fucking sign right behind her with a fucking sweatshirt with her fucking hospital name there and her fucking hospital name embroidered there. And he did that on purpose. I guarantee you he did it. And he does it on purpose. He did it so he, because he knows. It, it always happens. Every one of his little top mods, something happens where there's an argument. What it really is is they just stop giving him money. So once that happens, you know, he can use that information against him to say, oh, you, you know, I, I got a picture of you and I know where you work. And that's it. That's why he led, he literally led her to, uh, what's that saying, you know, where you lead a, a lamb to slay or whatever. That's exactly what he did with that lady. He should have never let her go on live the way she was doxing herself. But he doesn't care because he's going to use it for himself, you know. If he did, he would have already doxed her. You know, he would have said, ooh, got you. But it's in, it's in the back of his book. He sets these people up like that on purpose, trust me. He, he's, myth he's stupid, but he's, mythology he's methodical about that stuff because he knows it's, it's, it's ammunition, you know, if you got to get out of something piece of shit. I'm, I fucking hate that. You don't understand. This guy fucking, he, he acts like he's stupid, but he knows. He's dumb as rocks, but when it comes to scamming, he knows exactly what he's doing. He knows exactly what he's doing. Like that shit that he plays with these ladies where like every fucking day, man, that's what I'm saying. These people don't catch like words or phrases like that this guy repeats every fucking day. I mean, literally like on time every day, this guy walks into the grocery store and I'm sure he probably has the same spiel to every, I mean, it's just, I mean, he walks in, gets his fucking blunts, his fucking energy drink, gets back on, has to beg for his weed money for the day, 
You know, if he doesn't get it, he gets back on in the evening. That's his last chance, one last chance. And that's where he gets rude, right? When he can't, you know, it's coming down to like, fuck, I got three more hours of streaming. I ain't got no weed money for tomorrow. You know, and that's when he starts throwing the, hey, you better do this. You better do, oh, I saw you. Like I said, like tadpoles, man. When they ain't got nothing else to eat or frogs, they just go after each other, man. And that's all he does. That's all he is. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine being banned from IP2 for doxing. Yeah. That tells you a lot. Exactly. Exactly. That's like I said, I the bipolar I thought for a while, guys, but I, I think that's just an act now. I think it's just his his way to, you know, try to, you know, excuse himself out of doing something bad with his view, you know. He does it now, you know, when he goes off on a rage or a rant or something, and he notices his viewers don't really, they're not really, you know, happy, not happy, but just doesn't, they're not talking about it. Like I said, you know, unless Michelle's there, that's the only thing that gets those people going. Otherwise, they don't give a shit about him doxing me, what I'm doing. So literally, when he sees that that shit's not flying, he just changes it to the next subject, you know, and uh, it's either Michelle, it, like this week, it's been me, Michelle, and, uh, you know, whatever mod he wants to pick on for the last few days. That's it. I don't even know the guy very much. You know, like I said, I, I was just going to attend a public hearing. And this guy's like made it like some fucking, like I said, he's just done nothing but promote me and my channel. And I thank you for that, Ski. But again, I don't know what I did to you, dude. You know? Uh, <laughs> so, he's gay, he smokes shit, we and these people. Pick. Yeah, no, no. You know, I, I, I don't know if, you know, smoking weed and the, the things he does is just specifically to the gay, but it, it is kind of weird and sick that uh, he's he's peddling little kids' pictures or asking about that, and that's what we need to investigate. Because, like I said, he's got a charge for it, believe it or not, but he'll say anything to, oh, you're crazy, because he's hiding that one. And actually, that's what I, I want to find out next, is what that little domestic and assault charge was that... Uh, all of a sudden, you had to pay into a, you know, one, a, uh, you know, voluntary, like, children's fund, which is not on any of the other, you know, felonies you have. So, mm, a little strange, you know. My perception of it is that it had to do with something like a child, and that's why you got that. So, I guess with time, we'll find out. We will find out. All right, y'all, let's see here. Just reading through questions. I'm almost going to start getting ready to head out. Oh, shit, I got 30 minutes. It's all good. Like I said, uh, my friend's not giving me a ride anymore, but we're not too far away from the bus stop. And I know last time, uh, the Ubers were pretty quick when I was down here because they got a bunch of them that hang out downtown. Someone posted this bald head school going out this season. <laughs> Thought he said he was famous in IP2 because, no, hell no. And he claims it still. I've seen him. I've heard him claim it a bit when it was convenient for him, but and then he talked shit about himself. Nope, he was outcasted from IP2. They didn't want nothing to do with him. Not one goddamn thing to do with him. As a matter of fact, you can post something. I mean, I could post something today like Ski Mask fucking died, okay, on IP2, like for reals. Like, say I got his obituary. I post that shit. It wouldn't even get one up, vote. They don't get, they hate Ski Mask. Like, literally, you could have the juiciest fucking news in the world about him. You put that shit on IP2. You're lucky if you get one upvote, and that's it. I mean, they almost shadow fucking ban that shit, you know? So, yeah, they, they, they hate Ski Mask. Ski Mask has never was, never will, and never was IP2, CX, nothing. He was just a fucking bum leech that met Mondo, who was another fucking bum leech. And then they just camped out in front of Ice's house for three days being bum leeches, and that was what gave him his little bit of fucking clout. That's it. That's it. And then he went around punching women, and that's what got him famous, so... You know, he, he didn't make himself popular. You know, like, this this channel's got real 1,500 subscribers. Those are real audience members. Those are real viewers, okay? These aren't botted fucking views like his. This isn't some channel that, you know, might have one night shouted him out and he got, like, you know, 500 viewers that are never going to support him or watch him. That dude is literally down to, like, four fucking mods because he makes some mods because they pay for it. Down to just four yes women. And sorry to tell you, Ski, like, none of them seem like they know what the fuck they're talking about. So, uh, of course, that's why they just, you know, agree with him. You know, hey, I hate Santa Claus. Oh, Ski, yeah, Santa Claus is a piece of shit. You shouldn't like him. He's, you know, he just goes around fucking putting kids' toys around the fireplace. He's a piece of shit. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. That That's the shit that I'm, you know, trying to explain to you that, you know, goddamn, please, please give me an explanation as to why you're like that. Because... 
I know there's a little button where you can switch that off, you know, but... Hey, like I said, to each their own, my friends. Really shows he's bald. Yeah, dude, he's balder than me. I'm, that's what I'm telling you. Some people can make bald look okay. I think I make it look all right because I've been sporting it for a few years. But Ski, with the way his head's shaped, and, man, that horrible haircut, he looks like a fucking Cletus is what he looks like. You know, he looks like a dude that just, you know, put a bowl around his head and used a fucking pair of scissors to cut his haircut last time. So... Yeah, no, that dude's that dude. Next time he goes to even try to get a haircut, he, he's gonna be down to his last little, little like this, like here. You can't see it because I shaved. But if I was to grow my hair out, I got two little hairs that come up on the top, and that's about it. <laughs> oh no, he embarrassed himself huge today. I was actually surprised. That's why I'm really stoked about all the backup we had, all the fucking true homies, man. Thank you guys for looking out, because I wasn't going to end my stream for that piece of shit. And then, you know what's funny is he's watching me. He sees me when I say, literally, guys, I got one motherfucking percent left on my stream. Okay, I'm going to carry this out till it's gone. Boom, gone. Literally, as I'm fucking shutting the stream, the phone's shutting down. You know, I had like a minute to put it up in my car and charge bin. There's that asshole going already like, oh, is he not there again? Oh, he must be scared. He, it's like, oh, man, you don't even know. Like I said, when I fucking left Tulsa... You didn't say shit. I invited you to lunch, bro, even. I was a nice guy. Nothing. You were like a ghost. Boy, but I post that I left Tulsa. Brrr, you were out and about talking shit after shit after shit. And that's why, my friend, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going up live tomorrow. Excuse me. You shall see if I'm there Monday or not. We'll leave that up to you, Ski. But uh, you're not going to know till Monday. That's it, my friend. Bucko. My friend. My pal. Uh, like I said, even when I get there tomorrow, I'm not going to tell you nothing. You're not even going to know if I'm there or not. That's it. That's all I got to say. Oh, man. That poor fella. Yeah, well, you know why he doesn't have PayPal, right? Because he's a felon. He's a piece of shit. And he fucking locked his account. Oh, it is, Ambers. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's why he thought today by doxing me, he was going to like, literally, I was just going to run away with my tail between my legs. And honestly, it's fueled me even more. Because like I said, I'd have nothing to hide. I knew exactly when I got into this that it was going to happen eventually. Because I know that he's, he's not smart, but he's still got a little handful of these little fucking nerds like Big Vegas that know how to look things up or whatever. So I wasn't worried about it. Not at all. Not one bit. And that's what really pisses him off. And that's what really scares him is, you know, that's, he thought that was it. You know, think about it. You know, this guy is just a little prick. And, you know, he says, somebody sends him an email, right? Hey, Ski Mask, I know who NJ Quartz is. I have all their information. Oh, that motherfucker just set up live, live, live. I mean, he couldn't even wait. You know what I mean? He said he was going to come back on at six. There he is, live again. You know, just da, 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 da. Nobody cared. Like I said, I was watching his chat. If anything, I think people felt kind of disrespectful that he was making fun of a vet, you know, so. And you were. And then he comes back later when he realizes that. Oh, I have nothing against vets. I mean, you know, man, shut the fuck up, dude. You're such a dumb fuck. You're a piece of shit. You know it. And you think you get away with this shit because you come back and, like, give a half-ass apology or you say that. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. Oh, brother, I can't wait, bro. Uh, that's going to be your meme, okay? When you're getting locked up, click, clack, hands in the back, and you're walking past me, I'm going to go, in Minecraft, in Minecraft. Yeah. Fuck you, man. You're such a piece of shit. And honestly, I hope that the state of New Jersey, any one of the states that you owe fucking a warrant on, fucking tightens up and actually comes for your ass. So you never know, my friend. Never know. You're the one sleeping in fucking fear every day with one eye open, you know, Got your little cell phone fucking clinging next to you just in case Michelle says what's up. That's it. Just like a little fucking, you know, a little, I don't even like a lieutenant, bro. That's what you, oh my gosh, I don't even want to go there anymore, dude. Who cares if he knows who you are? Yeah, exactly. When you don't have anything to hide, it does not matter. When you're him, you know, you might care. And even then, I mean, everybody knows his information. Like I said, it's not going to do anybody any good because he's a piece of shit, but... 
I could care less. That's why I thought it was funny, man. All he could do is post my fucking picture from 28 years. I was like, ski post more, bro. Shit, you know, I want these girls to see how I used to look a few years ago before COVID, man. Shit. No, I'm just kidding with y'all, but yeah, yeah, he's just a piece of shit. Like I said, if any of y'all are watching, I hope you saw what I did today. I mean, obviously, I'm still talking about him a bit. I'm kind of going against my own advice, but it's for a reason because I know he's watching and I just want to fucking make him see even more. But for some of y'all, don't do that. You know, I, I can because, you know, I am who I am. I'm, I'm going to see this till the end. I'm not afraid if he doxes me. But I know some of y'all have careers, some of y'all have families, some of y'all don't want your information out there, okay? So let me do that job for you. I don't give a shit, but I will tell you this, Ski, I'm not like those other people, man. You you push me, it, it's going. It, it's down like fucking Donkey Kong, brother. I'll tell you that. So just just keep your mouth shut, man. Keep my name out of your mouth, and I think you'll be okay. Like I said, the quicker you just get, get to next week where you plead your little ass, you know, they find you guilty, you go to jail for three months, like I said, you'll be out by fucking, you know, uh, summertime, head on out to Hollywood Boulevard, get your little, and, you know, live your life, but man, boy, you, you getting caught up on my life and everybody else's ain't helping you, man, I'm telling you that, it's not helping you one fucking bit, so, it's the only advice I can give you, Ski, really, is just, you know, move on, bro, I mean, you got a fucking kid you're never gonna see, that should fucking fuel you to be a better person than what you were. And I mean, you ain't got a job. You hurt your mom. I mean, like Jen had mentioned the night before, there's going to be a time where you're not going to have parents anymore. They're going to be gone. It's just the way it is. My parents are going to be gone soon. Okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You think your brother's just going to let you kick it at his house after what you did to him? Nope. You think they're going to have a rental there? You know, what are you going to do? Stay in the rental till they have to kick you out? Yeah, they might have to do that. They'll get a fucking sheriff to come evict you. But uh, either way, you're out of that house, bucko. It doesn't matter if it's through the computer, Bluetooth or not. You're done, my son. And I'm glad to hear that, man. Fuck Attila. He's just like, uh, <laughs> this karma will come. Yep. Yeah, I was, I, you know, he was talking about that the other night. I think that's hilarious. He was pissed about that. Somebody else charged him back yesterday. He tried, he talked about, I don't know if you guys caught that. He, dude, and he's such a fucking dumb shit too. He's he's the one that like starts talking about it and everybody's asking him. And then because he realized he fucked up and made him look stupid, he goes trying to change the lie again. But yeah, no, he made himself look, you can see it on the VOD now because you can rewind it. But oh my God, it was hilarious how stupid he made himself look with that. An oracle by doing that, he's probably making him more curious. I always wonder why he's stinky. Yeah, but no, it was stinky plus some other people. Um, I think he said like, what was it? Almost, I don't know. It was a, it was pretty good, significant amount of money. He said, but I don't know. Like, I, he he mentioned it, hit on it, and then I, I the reason I believe is because with ski is when he mentions something and he realizes he fucked himself over or something, he stops. You know, he tries to change the subject. So I thought that was funny how quick he changed the subject from the money thing to something else, but. Uh, it, it could have just been that, you know, he knew he was fucked and his little scam wasn't going to work, so. He is a good comment. I'll give him that. I will give him that. He's not good. He's not smart. He, he's just uh, a con man. That's it. He's not even that great, to be honest with you. Because all those women know what he does. That's the difference. He's not conning anybody. They just like him for that reason. That's what's really scary and weird. Okay, we've exposed him. They've seen the videos. They know what he is. They just, for whatever reason, they love him. And like I said, that's just a handful. He's down to his last little four. But uh, it's going to be funny, though, when you see their names start popping up here in chat here in about a month. So don't say I didn't tell you. That's for sure. Don't say I didn't tell you. All right, guys. I'm going to call it here in a second. It's getting close to my time to head out. Um, I wanted to just spend the time finishing my beer with you. I wanted to finish the stream with you all and address some things. You know, like I said, I wasn't really planning on coming on uh, after the uh, the show earlier today. But, man, after hearing some of the shit from Randy and all that bullshit, I just had to come on and address a few things. So and that was it. It was stuff everybody knew. Like I said, he doesn't know who I am. He doesn't. I mean, he might, but I don't care. 
He doesn't know any important information about me. He doesn't know what my career is or what I own and this and that. Um, and he never will. I can tell you that. Um, if anything, once he finds out who my family is, I hope he's going to just chill. Because if he doesn't, he's going to be really fucked. We'll put it that way. And he already knows. That's why you're not going to hear him talk about me tomorrow. I already know it. I already know it. Guarantee if you guys want to bet me 100 bucks, we will. He might still like say a few little snippets. But no, nah, this was his last little afternoon raging. And then he realized how he fucked up. So... He's going to be a quiet little motherfucker until he gets his first little dono tomorrow morning or afternoon. I can guarantee you that. So, All right, guys. Have a nice night. Be safe. Uh, it is Sunday tomorrow. You still have a little bit of the weekend, so enjoy your Super Bowl. Ski we. 24 more hours till D-Day, my friend. You better make it worth your while. I go feed some ducks and hang out outside for a bit instead of fucking uh, gossiping all day long, especially on your last day of freedom, biatch. All right, y'all. Enjoy the day. Yo, <laughs> young cheat. No, I ain't no young cheat. Shit. Cheeto is cop. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Well, hey, man, we had a good day. Cheers, man. We got a free promotion from Franny. We reached half our goal. We're going to reach the other. We made IP2. That's pretty cool. And I got a really exciting, uh, uh, what was I going to say, announcement for you guys. As a matter of fact, I got to hold it because I was so tempted to say it today because I know it's going to push Randall over the edge, but eh, it's all right. We'll, we'll hold it for a bit. We got so much other exciting stuff going on that eh, it's all good. That'll be even more exciting news once we're over his chapter, but hey. I might still drop it over the weekend, but it is really cool. I'm so fucking stoked about what I got as an email. Um, let's just say it's an invitation to a club on YouTube that Randy ain't going to be part of. And cheers, y'all. Y'all helped me get to that club. So thank you, man. And I'm proud, man. I think it's cool. But uh, like I said, my passion is with you all. I appreciate y'all coming in tonight. We had fun. We had a great time at the zoo today. Um, we might see each other tomorrow, but for sure we'll see each other Monday. All right, y'all. Hey, have a great weekend. Uh, enjoy your football tomorrow, and we'll talk to you all later. Look out as far as my community page, and if you're part of my um, uh, Instagram, I'll put out some notices on what's going on, where I'm at, and uh, get you prepped for Monday, okay? Thanks, Jen, Jersey, and X is of X. Those are my mods. Please check out. I know an X is of X got her channel going on. Jen's got a channel. Jersey, you might work on one here soon. But if not, hey, I enjoy you being a mod, and uh, you're awesome, and I appreciate your insight the other evening. So thank you all for your help. I appreciate y'all coming out, spending the time with me. We had a fun time. Um, thank you all for being troopers and warriors. Um, again, you know, that's not what we're about, but when shit hits the fan, you guys got my back and I got yours. So I appreciate it, okay? You guys have a nice night, and we'll talk to you soon. Peace. See you soon, Randy.